Hello, hello. My name is Garrick, and today we are sampling 1830 Railways and Robert Barron. That's the name, don't question it. Uh, it is designed by Francis Tresham, put out by uh, originally Avalon Hill, now it's put out by an Asmodee subsidiary. subsidiary. There we go, Lookout Games. Uh, joining me today are Alan. Hello, hello. Lily. Howdy, howdy. And Billy. Choo choo. Uh, we are going to teach Billy how to play, and then we are going to trash his ass. So <laughs> that was that was where everyone Thursday chuckles. will come, and <laughs> Lily will be destroyed. <laughs> Just me, no one else. That, that's how it goes. <laughs> So, All right, teach me to stonk. Yes, I will teach you to stonk. Uh, this is 1830. You are a private investor in the 1800s, attempting to gain the most money by investing in and operating train companies. Easy enough, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, the game is played out in sort of two theaters, the map and the stock market. And we will have an alternating series of rounds, operating rounds, and stock rounds where we will do things on the map and stock market, respectively. Uh, when you are in a stock round, you're effectively acting as yourself, investing in companies, uh, you know, uh, forming them, capitalizing them, uh, maybe buying, selling shares of other companies. Uh, and in the operating rounds, we will be acting as the uh, majority shareholders of the companies and thus the presidents of those companies and acting in those companies' interests somewhat. Uh, laying track, buying trains, running trains for profit, and choosing how to spend or how to dole out the money, etc. etc. So, uh, at the start of the game, there's going to be a private auction. We're going to go over that last because it makes the least sense. If you if you don't know anything about the game, it's it's just it's weird. We'll get back to it. Uh, so I mentioned in stock rounds, we're acting as ourselves. The game will start with a stock round where we will uh, after the auction where we will be able to buy shares in the first stock round. We cannot sell shares uh, when it's your turn in a stock round. You can either take a stock action or pass. It is a soft pass. You can come back in after passing and on a future you know go around and the round ends when everybody has passed in succession you with me right now yep cool uh when you take a stock action you will do three things in sequence you may sell as many shares as you want you may purchase one share and you may sell as many shares as you want so what was the first thing you said you cut out uh, first, you may sell as many shares as you want, then you may buy, then sell. you may sell. Okay, so sell as many, buy one, sell as many. Exactly. Okay. Uh, when you buy a share, uh, at the start of the game, they all start in the initial purchase offering, the IPO over here. Uh, yep. and, you, and you will be buying them at the par value. If the company does not have a par value yet, you will set the par value and then purchase the first share at that par value. So you will be determining what the capitalization uh, value of the company is when you do so. Uh, doo -doo -doo. The first share of every company is a special president's certificate. It is actually two shares on one piece of paper. And you will, of course, have to pay the full 20% of the par value when you purchase it, or I should say two times the, the par value because you're buying. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah and it's worth 20% of the company because there's right. 10 shares in total. Right, exactly. Question, why doesn't B&O have one? Uh, B&O does not have one because it is going to be auctioned off as part of the private auction at the start. All right, cool. Yep. I'll shut up. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> um... Uh, so as I mentioned at the start of the game, you will be uh, purchasing from the initial offering. Uh, later during the game, you may sell shares, in which case they will not go to the offering. They will go to the bank pool, which is this up here. Uh, it's effectively just a second separate part of the bank. 
Uh, you can, in, on future turns, purchase from the bank pool instead of the initial offering, if there are shares you know, in the bank pool. And when you do so, you will be purchasing that share at the current share price of the company and not the par yep. value, regardless of whether yep. it's higher or lower. Okay, so this is exactly like everything I've learned studying for the Series 65. Got it. <laughs> uh, let's see. When you sell any number of shares, you will depreciate the stock value of the company one row for every share sold, but you will get the amount of money equal to the share value it started at times the number of shares that you sell. So you, get so you the, can tank a price yep. very easily by selling. Yep. Got it. Uh, let's see. What else should I say? That sell, buy, sell. Uh, so at the start of the game, the companies are not operating. They need 60% of their shares to be out of the initial offering before they will capitalize getting... 10 times their par value to their private treasury. Uh, and then they will be able to take turns in the subsequent operating rounds after they have capitalized from somebody purchasing 60%. Okay. Uh, the president of a company is not necessarily whoever purchased the president's share. It is whoever has the most shares in the company. And if at any point that number, that person changes, you will transfer the president's cert uh, to that person, and they will give you back uh, two shares to match it. Understandable, just to make sure you know who the president is. Yes, uh, because the president is the one who's going to be controlling the company in the operating round. And additionally, uh, there is a cert limit. It is a maximum number of shares that you can hold, except not quite. It's the maximum number of pieces of share paper you can hold. President certs, despite being two shares, only count one against this limit. Okay. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. Uh, pieces of cardboard, not yeah. share total. Yeah. Yes. Uh, in a four-player game, our cert limit is 16 pieces of paper. And okay. that's not really important until later in the game. Yep. So, let's see... So how does it go? How do stocks go up? How do I make stock go up? That is a good question. Uh, the only way for a stock to rise straight up is at the end of the stock round, after everybody has passed, uh, any company that is 100% held by players will have its share value rise up one on the stock market. Cool. The majority of movement on the stock market, however, will be down or to the left and right. And we'll talk about how they move left and right uh, pretty much now, because we're going to talk about the operating round now. Cool. So in the operating round, each company will operate in sequence, that sequence being from the highest share value down to the lowest share value. So in this example, Boston and Maine would operate first because it has a share value of 200 to the PRR's 76. Uh, hey, Freddy. Yeah, back to the classics. Uh, when a company operates, it has a sort of procedure that it will do on its turn. Uh, they are helpfully listed on the company charters over here. First, All right. yeah, first they can lay or upgrade track. Track being these tiles over here. And it goes, yeah, it goes blank, yellow, green, orange, brown thing, yep. right? Exactly. You got it. Uh, you can only lay yellow onto blank hexes. You can only lay green onto yellows and brown onto greens. And when you lay a green onto a yellow or brown onto a green, the lower rank goes back to the supply. They don't okay. stay underneath. And then same things for here with the circles. They have to match the circle to the tile? Yes. You always need to preserve what was on the tile in the case of pre-existing track or revenue centers. So Fantastic. If there's pre-laid track like this, you cannot destroy it when you lay a green. Uh, for example, this is not a legal track lay 
because even though yep. you're upgrading a yellow city to a green city, you are destroying that track over there on the right side. Yep. Additionally, We're doing this, for instance, is considered legal. So that's yes, that is legal. And in fact, uh, that's a great thing I should mention. This hex has a B in it, meaning it can only take the B tiles. Cool. There is a similar thing in New York. It can With only New take yep. the NY tiles. Yep. And the ooze which can only take ooh tiles. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, the little circles, black circles, are towns or dits or doinks or whistle stops. It depends on your region or your game or whatever. Uh, they take the tracks that have the dashes in them. Uh, if there are two, then they have to take the double town, double dit tiles cool uh additionally you can only lay track that you can reach with that company meaning you have to be able to trace a route from a station that the company has along track to where you want to lay the tile so bno could not lay something up here until it has either laid this to give it access to lancaster or laid no, that doesn't work. Somehow done that and not gotten into Lancaster yet. That would also give it yeah. access. Uh, there's a little bit more to... Yeah, I, guess I may as well talk about it now. Um, so, do, 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 companies after laying track can place a station. And I mention this because we're going to tie this back into uh, routes and track in a second. Uh, so if there is a city on the company's route that is open like this, you can pay the price listed on the charter, uh, which for all of their first stations is 40. And then if they have any additionals, they are worth 100. Uh, and you can place it on that spot. And this is important for a few reasons, but the one I want to highlight now is this city is now blocked for other companies to pass through it. And this includes for track lays. So if we had some weird map like this, PRR could not lay track on the other side of Baltimore down here because it's blocked by a station token here and also one would be here so doubly blocked does that make sense yeah yep 100 percent. they're essentially walls that force companies to not have connectivity yes now building on that idea real quick so long as there, there is two stations <laughs> Now, now there are two slots in the city. It can take a station of a different company. A company can never have more than one station on a hex. And so long as there is that open circle, this is passable by other companies. So PRR may now go through this one, uh, but it still gets stopped at Baltimore. Yeah. Throw you back. So uh doo -doo -doo. that was track laying and laying stations doo -doo -doo. after laying one piece of track either a yellow or an upgrade to a yellow or green uh, and then after purchasing a station you may run trains if you do not have a train or if you don't pay out which we'll talk about in a second uh you will Move your share price down. I'm saying this badly. Let's try that again. Uh, running trains depends on what type of trains you have, as you might expect. And you can see there are multiple ranks of train here. This is a linear sequence that we are going to be going through. So we will go through all of the twos before we get any threes. And then likewise, go through all the threes before we get to any fours. Uh, there's a slight deviation here. When the first six is purchased, Ds become avail available to purchase. Uh, we will remind you of that later, so you don't need to remember it too hard. 
the and num then, as they say on there, the rust <laughs> is when they become obsolete by purchasing the first of whatever type of that. Yeah, well, uh, you got it. I will mention it again in a minute when we get to that point. The thing I want to highlight now is the number in the top left, which is yep. how far that train can run. Uh, you are measuring not in hexes, but in revenue centers that it hits. So running a two train, the first of the two will be whatever station the route is starting in. And then the second will be the first revenue center that it hits on its route, such as Atlantic City here. You with me? Yep. The revenue center is the white circle that tells you how much it's worth. Yes. Okay. Uh, if you were to have multiple two trains, you can run both of them so long as they do not share any track. So in this case, in this example, you could not run the two train to here and then the two train to here again. You could run the two train to here and then the two train to here. And that would be your two routes. And it always has to originate from a station? It always has to include a station. So okay. if you had a three train, this would be a legal route to go those three. Does that make sense? Yep. Cool. Um, and then, of course, you would not be able to run from here to here and then from here to here with two two trains because the second two train would not have a station in its route. You would have yep. to have placed a station token on here to do that. Okay. Uh, train routes can also be blocked by stations, just like your connectivity for laying track. So thinking back to, you know, like our Lancaster example or something, if that had been tokened by PRR, then that would block your train from going any further, but you could run up to Lancaster and include it in your route. So, okay. yeah. So a two train could run to Baltimore from Baltimore to Lancaster, uh, you know, with no deviations. And then, sorry, a three train could run from Baltimore to Lancaster with no deviations. And so long as it's open, continue on to something else. But if it was blocked by, say, a PRR station, it would have to stop there. OK. I think so I an, an, ag an, opposing, an opposing station is a terminus point. It has to stop there. Yes, that's a great way to think Got about it. it. Um, but again, if there is an open slot in the city, then you can go. Yeah, then it doesn't matter because yep. you're like. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, running trains, that's how you uh, chart the route. How much do they run for? Well, you will add up every revenue center that the train hits, uh, you know, multiple times if you are hitting it multiple times, like in that two two example we had. Yep. Uh, and then whatever that total is from all of your routes, you will then choose whether to pay it out in dividends or withhold it. If you pay it out, you will pay out the amount proportionally to shares. So if somebody has 10%, you know, one share, they will get 10% of that revenue. Uh, and for paying out, you will move your share price one space to the right. Yes. However, if you fail to pay out from not having trains, or if you choose to withhold, uh, you will move to the left. And in the case of okay. withholding, you will take that revenue amount and inject it into the company's treasury. Does that make sense? Yep, 100%. Cool. From a finance standpoint as well. <laughs> uh, after you run routes and then pay out or withhold, then, and only then, can you purchase trains. Uh, as I said, you can only purchase whatever the lowest available rank is. Uh, the value, sorry, the price is in the top right corner, and they will, of course, go up over the course of the game. If you purchase the first train of a new rank, say the first three train or the first four train, uh, you will change phases. Uh, in the case of purchasing the first three, that will allow us to start laying green track. 
Okay. Uh, up to that point, it's been blocked off. Uh, it'll and also... Five trains is the brown? Yeah, five trains are the brown. Uh, in the case of purchasing a four, it will trigger a rusting event, as you know. It will eliminate all two trains from the game. Uh, and then likewise, sixes will rust the threes, and Ds will rust the four. Uh, Ds are infinite trains. They will run as far as possible, you know, following all rules about being blocked by stations and, and needing to contain your station token uh, like other trains. But if they have free reign to go anywhere, then they will go anywhere. Uh, you'll also notice... When, What's up? When purchasing anything, such as a station or laying upgrading, it comes directly out of the company's treasury? Uh, yes, so that's a great point that I was going to sort of circle back to. Uh, anything you do in the operating round, it, that's the simple answer, uh, there's a caveat. Uh, anything you do will be with the company's money. So any track you need to lay that has a terrain cost, which I realize now I didn't highlight, but something that has a price listed on the hex like this or like New York or that, uh, that is a terrain cost that you must pay in order to lay the first track that is laid on that hex. Okay. Uh, you don't need it for any subsequent lays on top of that, but for the very first one, you need to pay it, as long as you can see it. You need to pay it, basically. Uh, that comes okay. from the treasury. Buying stations comes from the company treasury. Buying trains comes from the company treasury. There is one notable exception, which is emergency fundraising. If you do not have a train, uh, your company has to buy a train. If your company cannot afford that train with its, with its treasury money, then you go into emergency fundraising. Now and only now, you are allowed to mix your money with the company's money. You will make up any difference that the company cannot pay with your own cash. And if you don't have the cash, you will have to start selling shares to do so. And if that still doesn't work, you go bankrupt and the game ends. Is that clear? All right. <laughs> yep. um, and then... The red tiles, I'm assuming those are also considered profit centers and yes. you just have to be in the yellow and brown phases and that's how much money you get for them? Uh, the way it works is there, <laughs> there's no final retirement score key. And hello. <laughs> um, it's a John Company joke. Uh, these can only be terminuses uh, and you can never run from the same off board to the same off board. Uh, the value is... The yellow number in the yellow and green phases and then it becomes the brown value from the brown phase on to the gray got phase it. got it yep um let's see yeah that is purchasing trains yeah uh, there so we do three operating rounds and then a stock round ah that's a great point uh so the oh, number no, i get it yep the number it, changes over the course of the phase, game yep got it <laughs> <laughs> uh after every company has operated once that will be the end of an or and then if we have any left we will continue to do that until the round the set is what they call it an operating set is done then we'll go back to a stock round where we can do it all again uh the game is over when either somebody goes bankrupt or we have drained all the money from the bank. Uh, and if the bank breaks during a set, we will play out the rest of the set. If it breaks during an SR, which is exceedingly rare, then we, we either do one set or one single operating round. I'll check if it ever comes to that. All right, any questions before I dig into a couple other things? Ah, this is purely for our help. It is a revenue tracker. However much your company runs for, you will drop its uh, token onto that value on this chart. And one that helps us know what it ran for, both so you don't have to recalculate multiple rounds or, and so people know like how to invest. But also it is scripted to automatically throw that amount into the company's counter over here. 
So it saves some work. Nice. And if you hit the payout button, it pays out to the correct people. Yep. Does all the math for you. Ah, nice. Uh, any other questions? Nope. Okay. So let's talk about uh, a couple things I did not talk about, which are the bank pool has a couple quirks I should mention. It can never contain more than 50% of a single company. Okay. Uh, also, any shares in the bank pool, when the company pays out, the bank pool shares will pay to the company's treasury. So if there's 50% in the bank pool and I run $100, 50 of it goes into the treasury. Exactly. Cool. Um, let's see. What else is there? Is it time to talk about privates? Is there anything major I missed, guys, uh, besides privates? Taking that as a no. Okay, well, private companies are these things over here. Uh, okay. They have a cost in the bottom left, a revenue in the bottom right, and then potentially an ability in the middle. Uh, at the start of the game, we will have a special type of auction, which I will explain in a minute, to auction these off. And then each operating round at the start of the round they will pay out their revenue value to their owners. And starting from phase three onward, uh, the company at any point on its turn may purchase a private company from a player uh, for anywhere from $1 up to two times the cost listed on the bottom left. Does the player have to agree to it? Yes. Okay. Uh, traditionally, this is only going to happen from a player to their own company because this is the tool that propels all like money flow in the early mid game. Uh, this is how you embezzle funds from your first company back to you to fund your second company, basically. Okay. Um, uh, like I mentioned, they may have powers. The powers do what they say. I think they are all... Oh, no, Mohawk and Hudson has a player power. Uh, yeah, we'll just go through them real quick. Um, Schuylkill Valley uh, is a blocker. I know it doesn't have text there, but it's a blocker. It blocks... Is it, is it this one? Yeah, it's that one. Yeah. It's SVR, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, while Schuylkill Valley is held by players, nobody can lay track into SVR, into that spot there. Got it. The Champlain and St. Lawrence uh, is also a blocker. Uh, Freddy, I thought it was Schuylkill. I don't know. It's been a while since I listened to the Choo Choo Crew episode where they joked about it a lot. It's Sky. It's Skykel. Is it Skykel? S C H U. Yeah, because that's how the Skylers are from Hamilton and. <laughs> right? So. Uh, that's possible way to know this information. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Champlain and Saint Lawrence is a blocker for. Uh, yep, there it is, Burlington up there. And a corporation that owns it may lay a tile on that hex, even if they are not connected to that hex. Uh, and that tile placement is in addition to whatever normal tile placement they have on their turn. So that will be any one of these. It's the three. one up in Burlington, right? Yep. Yeah. And it'll be any of these three town tiles. The Delaware and Hudson is a teleport. A corporation owning the Delaware and Hudson may... Uh, uh, oh, I should mention, it is also a blocker on this spot. And a company owning the Delaware and Hudson may lay a tile and place a token on that hex, even if they are not connected to it. Uh, but it does count as their, their tile lay 
and station placement for the turn. Okay. The Mohawk in Hudson has a power that you should probably not use. It says that you may exchange it for a 10% share of the NYC uh, if if he... Oh, yeah, you just... Um, oh, I may so, not have mentioned Because the max you can owe is, own is 60%. Yes. Uh, I don't know if I explicitly said that, but a max of a single company... You did, but I've can, seen videos. Yeah. Is 60%. <laughs> uh, this doesn't let you bypass this, but it does let you exchange the private for a 10% share of the NYC. Uh, and this closes the Mohawk and Hudson. It is not advisable. Don't do it. The Camden and Amboy comes with a 10% share of the PRR. That's it. That's all there is to it. The B and B and L is a twenty percent, and you can't lose the certificate. Uh, y did not exchange hands. Is the only yes, yes, but also now. Uh, yeah. The uh, so the B and O closes when the B and O company purchases its first train. So, uh. Basically, if you get this, you do not want to float the B&O because then you lose the private. Is the simple way to say that. I, eh, that's not entirely lying to him, right? I, I, have won, I have won the game off of early floating B&O, so... <laughs> there's, been mixed, there's mixed results. You can make it work either way. I think the traditional th meta is that the BNO player does not want to float it themselves, and other players will force the BNO player to float. I think that's the traditional meta. That is yeah. definitely what I do to most people. Oh, okay. So <laughs> well, it's it's just interesting, d depending on how you play it, where you lay your early track. Like you can get into places before other companies can. Yeah, specifically New York. The the B and O is a great company. Uh, it's just like in order to get value from the private, you're going to have to par the B and O at a high price, which means it's going to be hard to uh, mm -hmm. float, and you're going to run out of your money in the early game. It's it's a whole thing that I didn't want to entirely get into, but <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We'll just we'll just say don't do it unless you're forced to. Basically, don't don't actively in, intentionally take B and O. Uh, and you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> so speaking of, how could you be forced into the BNO? Well, here's how the auction works. It is a waterfall auction, is what they call it. And uh, the the way it works is that these are sort of a chain of companies. And at any time in the auction, a player can either purchase the cheapest private that is available at face value. They may bid on any of the other privates for, is it at least $5 more than face, I think is what it is. I know 30 is weird because it doesn't have to be in multiples of five. It just has to be like at least five or something. Anyway, uh, or third, you may pass. If all the players pass, the auction uh, sort of pauses. Any players that have privates at this point will gain their revenue, and then we will go back into the auction and continue. When a player purchases the cheapest private at face value, it's called pulling the ripcord, and it triggers a chain reaction where we will then go down the line one by one, uh, resolving any bids that are all on them, until we hit a private that has no bids, at which point we will stop and go back to being able to either purchase the cheapest one available or bid on other ones or pass. Does that all make sense so far? Okay, so I can either bid on something or just buy this outright or pass. Yes. Yep. You want to totally screw up the meta of the waterfall auction? As your first action, buy Scully Kill Valley. <laughs> I don't actually suggest it, but it's funny. <laughs> it is definitely funny. Yeah, so there's a meta to 30's auction. Uh, I will give a, a brief overview of it in a second. Uh, so I mentioned 
uh, that you can bid on these and then something about a ripcord. Uh, so the way it works is when somebody purchases the ripcord, you will do private auctions for all of the players that have a bid on a private. So say myself and Alan had bid on the Champlain and St. Lawrence and Lily pulled the ripcord. Then Alan and I would go back and forth determining or auctioning on the Champlain and St. Lawrence just among us two until one of us wins it. And then whoever the winner is would get it. We would go to the next company, say that it had Billy, myself, and Alan on it. Us three would bid on it without Lily until that ends. And then say maybe Lily was the only one with the bid on the Mohawk and Hudson. She now gets it for whatever she bid. And let's pretend somebody got that. And we'll say B&O did not have any bids on it because that's very likely. Uh, then the chain would pause. Uh, we would go back into sort of the waterfall auction and somebody can either purchase this at face or they can pass. If there was another company to the right of it, you could bid on it, but there's not. So those would be the two options at that point. Does that all make sense? Yeah. Cool. It's not incredibly complicated. It's just that the strategy of everything is going to be what fucks me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Garrick, did you mention what happens if everybody passes? Uh, I mentioned it. I'm going to mention it again. Uh, so if at any point everybody passes in the auction, then we will... All the companies that are held by players will pay out to the players that hold them. And this is important, and I mention it because it creates a soft incentive to be forced into purchasing things. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, if you are the player, say, say we end up in a situation where B&O is the only thing left, because that's, very, that's the meta. Uh, if you are the player who has the least revenue in privates that they are holding, then you are incentivized to buy the B&O even if you don't want it, because if everybody passes, they will gain revenue, gain more than you, and you will just very slowly lose. It is entirely possible for the game to end just from players passing in the auction until the bank breaks. <laughs> yes, that's absurd. It, it's possible. It doesn't it will happen. Never happen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would that would be some just like sour grapes play right there yeah like, no we're we're just gonna keep going guys yeah it's it's like Forever. one person refuses to to bite the bullet and jump on the grenade and then everyone else spitefully is just like well i'm not gonna do it i um, feel like eventually somebody would have enough money they'd be like yeah it's worth it now <laughs> uh marcos the value does not go down in 30 uh 82 does that but in 30 you just have privates pay that's it so mm. the only incentive is that you're making the least money. Yeah. My God, 18xx can be so confusing that way. <laughs> because they like, all slowly, little by little, build on each other. And then you're like, which, which game am I playing right yeah. now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, I've only played like 10 or so of them, and I can't keep my rules right. <laughs> That's fair. Just um, wait till we start playing 1817. Oh, God. So one, I, I'm looking forward to that. I, yeah, it just yeah. I'm also not looking forward to it. It's going to be a thing. Uh, anyway, I'm going to move on. The uh, an important thing I didn't mention, Billy, and this is very very important, is the privates also will close uh, when we reach a certain point in the game, regardless of who owns them or if they paid out with it or anything. They close upon the purchase of the first. Uh, it's the five train, right? Five train, yeah. Yep. The first brown five phase. yeah, the first five train when we shift to brown will close all private companies. Uh regardless of who owns them or whether you got to use them. So that's very, very important. Yep. Yeah, I'm just trying to think, is there anything else? I talked about purchasing privates. Do you have any questions at this point, Billy? So I want to ask a question about this. Sure. These colors. Ah, for yes. For some reason, it gets really bad. <laughs> um, or, 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 
really good. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> yeah, so um, these are special sections of the stock market, and they do exactly what they say. Uh, you should assume that the brown zone has all the effects of the orange and yellow, and likewise the orange has all the effects of the yellow. Uh, a company whose share price is in the yellow, uh, its shares do not count toward the certificate limit, which, as you might immediately realize, is very, very lucrative if you can time things right. Uh, likewise, in the orange, a player may own more than 60% of the corporation. And in the brown, they may purchase any number of shares of that corporation with a single stock action. So yeah, they are, if your company is bad, you get to do fancy stuff. And there are strategies around intentionally driving your company into the you know, yellow, orange, or brown, and then getting either more certificate Wrong. slots or getting 100% yeah. of the company or, you know, things like that. So, question. Yes. If you go into the brown, mm -hmm. recover, do you, are you then forced to lose that? At the next available opportunity, uh, if you were in the yellow and now are not, you will have to rectify uh, any, you know, issues you have. So if you went over the cert limit, by purchasing yellows and then it comes out of the yellow you now are over cert limit you need to immediately sell down to cert limit likewise and if you had more than if you have more than 60 okay. percent, you sell down to 60 uh there's nothing to correct for brown yeah it's helpful to know this exists i would not play around it as a strategy yeah you you are i would recommend for your first play just ignoring that entire element of the game don't tell me what to do you're I, not my real dad i said recommend i did not say you had to uh let's see do yeah, you have, that's fair <laughs> do you have any real questions at this point no then does anyone have anything i didn't mention that i should have no sorry i had to step away oh, that's like fine a few minutes so like if you were looking for feedback earlier i apologize oh i looked for feedback and i just you know i assumed that we were now mortal enemies oh okay <laughs> well then i will dump all of your shares <laughs> oh crewmeister we'll get to 61 or 67 eventually um yeah there's there's probably some wrinkles i didn't go over i think i covered all the major stuff I think it's probably enough for us to get started and we can yeah. figure things out. Oh, priority deal. That's the big thing I didn't talk about. Uh, hey, hey Garrett. You've got it. How do you determine who goes first in the auction and or the stock rounds? Uh, with a little something called priority deal. We rec represent it with an elephant. This is in the uh, style of 18xx games because of a historical game that had a, an elephant because it was in India and people liked it, it's cute. Uh, anyway, priority deal means that you are first player in the auction and or a stock round if you have it. And the way you get it is to be the, in stock rounds, you want to be the left of the last action taken. So if, I uh, take a stock action and then all four of us pass in sequence. I was the last person to take an action. Billy, you would get priority deal because you are the person to my left. Does that make sense? Yep. So then going into the next stock round, you would go first since you have the priority deal. Uh, this works similarly in the auction. Whoever is to the left of a person who purchased the cheapest private at face value, that person that's to the left of the purchaser will get priority deal. So if you pull the ripcord, Lily gets priority deal. Okay. Um, is there a minimum starting bid for any of the private companies? Yes. Uh, you must always bid 
uh, at least five more than the face value, the number on the bottom. Yes, but what's the, so I have, so starting off, I have to bid 45 for Champlain St. Lawrence. 45 or more. Okay, that's fine. Yep. I know, I don't think it's as common nowadays, but it was sort of meta to like, I think immediately bid Mohawk and Hudson, Hudson up to like 222 or something funky because mathematically what? it was it, it's a thing i why i it's, i do not understand I, that. I i don't remember what the exact number is there's a whole reasoning for it and it makes sense it's just sort of like it, it's I, it's a little goofy i just personally do not see mohawk and hudson as a good company i think it's horrible but that's just me I, it may have been camden and amboy but i think it's mohawk and hudson i think most people think mohawk and hudson's good I don't remember. I feel like it's CNA because CNA comes with free value from the PRR share. Yeah, PRR is usually not that good, but it's like just given to you. You don't do anything. Mm, I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah. let's let's go ahead and get this started, I think. Because uh, I can't think of anything else to go over. Let's go. So, there we go. I did my marker. Billy, you are first up. You so may... how do I mark any sort of bids? That's a great question. Uh, we typically type it, but you can also write it with the uh, pencil or whatever. Uh, and then we just do it like right underneath whatever we're bidding on. So like, like that. Okay, Lily. Do 222. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was waiting for you to just do it. <laughs> not, not quite that crazy. I feel like it's got to be CNA because Mohawk and Hudson, like at that point, you're literally, you're, when you sell it in, you're not even getting the value. So you're just getting the revenue value off of it, which just seems silly. Uh, I guess I'll bid on. Oh, what the hell? It's either it's either Delaware and Hudson or Champlain and St. Lawrence, and I kind of like Champlain and St. Lawrence just to block Scully Kill, Sky Kill. And I'm gonna call it Scully Kill. That's what that's what it is. I am not white. <laughs> I mean, I am, but I think everyone could be. I think that could have been guessed. Um, God, I love waterfall rip actions. Cord, rip. No, I'm not going to pull the rip cord. <laughs> um, I mean, probably just bid on Delaware and Hudson to make it truly punishing. Well, if I do that, then, well, I guess, I guess. I don't Billy or Lily would pull the ripcord, and then Alan would be in the worst spot and have to buy the BNO. Which doesn't sound bad. Hmm. On the other hand, I don't know if anybody's getting forced to pay what they should pay for any of these. Um, yeah, I think you're giving away a like, yeah, you're tanking me pretty early, but you're giving away a lot of value if you do that. All right, I'll bid 170 on the Camden and Amboy. Billy, bid on the okay, Mohawk so and Hudson. Question. Don't let Billy cheat. Love cheating. If for some reason I pulled the ripcord, it doesn't, it stops at Delaware and Hudson? Yes. Yeah, you're just, you're just making me really happy if you do that. <laughs> 
And is he though? Because I'm after them. No, yeah, he's making Lily happy because Lily can just buy <laughs> the Delaware and Hudson and the Mohawk and Hudson. Yeah. 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 All right. Lily, what you doing? Um. D and H. Yeah. Oh, there's a world where pulling the ripcord's the right play, because then I have revenue 15, but I, even with that, I might be forced, right? Mm -hmm. You end up with D and H. Possibly Mohawk and Hudson too, or that could go to Billy. Hmm, interesting. I'd say the best case scenario is Billy gets Mohawk and Hudson, and Garrick gets Camden and Amboy, and then Lily and I. Stay stare at each other about B and H for a while or B and O for a while. That's probably the wrong thing for me to do. What if I just bid on B and O right now? <laughs> <laughs> this is all horrible. This is also my last chance to get in on one of the actually good ones. I would honestly have fun just sitting down and doing the auction of eighteen thirty over and over. I just love, <laughs> I love how important it is to manipulate player incentives and, and like the, the priority order for it. It's, it's, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. It feels like a little game of root yeah. condensed down into an auction. <laughs> ah, yes. Yeah, small animals are fighting each other over these damn companies. <laughs> I'm assuming Delaware yeah, is yellow. 18 yeah. sex with real money. <laughs> Um, I mean, the, there are auction games if you want to play auction games. I mean, I, I do really like auction games. I like the waterfall auction Dead. a lot, is the thing I'm saying here. Mm, fair enough. I'm actively horrible at auction games, so I, I would probably bow out of that. Derek, it's you. Yeah, I'm... I'm type in right now i was trying to find the tool because i couldn't forget for, remember which f button it is it's f seven rip cord rip cord. i am not pulling the rip cord <laughs> why not because i want other stuff um you can get cna right there you got it you don't know that i mean all billy knows is that you that he shouldn't let you get it for less than 222. I'm going to bid on the Mohawk and Hudson. I'm Ugh. recording. Ah, okay. All right. All right. Alan, I get... You pay 45. So I to spend 20 bucks. How do I spend money? Uh, type in <laughs> the amount into your counter here and then hit spend money. Cool. This gives deal. Alan pays 45 for the Delaware and Hudson. Uh, Lily and Alan. Sorry, Lily and Alan bidding for the Delaware and Hudson. Alan paid for the Champlain and St. Lawrence. Lily, you are the low number. You have the first bid. I'll bid 85. I'll go to 90. I'll go to 95. 100. You can have it for 100. Yay. I'm honestly sad. I don't have I... to get the BNO. <laughs> I'm honestly sad because I wanted the Delaware and Hudson this game so I could try the can pack. Then why float. did you bid on it? <laughs> because I was hoping it would get another round. I was. I wanted to make sure I could police the Mohawk and Hudson. Well, I will say the Mohawk and Hudson is feeling very patriotic right now. <laughs> it is. So... <laughs> it is. Vive la France. <laughs> I will say one of the three of you is very clearly getting screwed. So. <laughs> I think it might be me, but we'll see. I will go up to 130. 135. Uh, 140. I'm out. 
145. 155. 55. Uh, how do I reduce the size of things in my hand? Uh, can we reduce the and size options. of things? What? Why do you want to do that? It's like huge for some reason. I don't know. Just hit H to turn your hand off. Yeah, but then I can't see anything. Well, just scroll, want... scroll over to your hand. Um, All right, there's there's a there's a game option for it. I'm looking for it. I believe you. I believe you. Uh, do I think the Mohawk and Hudson is better than the Camden and Amboy? I honestly don't know. I swear I've heard good it's... things about the Mohawk and Hudson, despite what Alan thinks. Uh... Mohawk and Hudson is not good. It's yeah, actively the worst. I don't think I want it for that much. You can have it at 155, Billy. Okie doke. <laughs> All right, and then you have the low bid in the Camden and Amboy. One seventy-five. <laughs> you monster. One eighty. <laughs> One eighty-five. One ninety. One ninety-five. Two hundred. You may want to just stick him with this. <laughs> no, you can have it for two hundred. Okay. He was he was going to get it if he went any higher. <laughs> oh, I know. I knew I was pushing it literally as far as I could. That's why I stopped at two hundred. <laughs> well, um, considering that the ripcord was pulled by Billy, I will. I'm just gonna buy this, <laughs> and here you go, party deal goes, Alan. Ooh, look at that! Uh, I still can't figure out how to make this. This is so oh. weird. Why are the chairs so big? Uh, every... That's what I'm trying to fix. <laughs> okay, everything in this mod is ginormous. When I spawned in the elephant, I actually had to like multiply by like a thousand times to get it the right size. It was oh. the elephant? Did it like take up half the table? No, oh, no, it, I'm saying no, it was it was opposite direction. Opposite right, direction. It was right, too right. small. It was an ant. If you if you make something in your hand smaller with the minus, it fixes it back to normal size. Ooh, haha. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You may want to put it back after that, but otherwise, yeah. Okay, so nah. I'm very... Nice here. 455. <sighs> Oh, real, um, real quick. Quick, quick, back of the napkin math. All right, I'm done. Okay. <laughs> real quick, done. <laughs> I, I had to par B and L. Yeah. Um, because I have the president cert. Yeah. So oh, to... that is that is just rude. I am very rude, but thank, <laughs> thanks for noticing. <laughs> no, it's I'm, <sighs> I'm angry that the par so price. Does the second one go up here then. Yes. yes, thank you, Billy. Oh my god, this is so annoying. I'm gonna be like two dollars short. <laughs> Seventy six times six is Wait, no, Yeah. That's Yeah, you're just a little short. <laughs> I need I need a dollar. Uh a single goddamn dollar. <laughs> Lily, you suck. <laughs> what did I do? You bid the D and H up too high. <laughs> oh, okay, oh, yeah, no, I, I did do that. That's fair. I accept. Uh, uh, let me see here. You ended up with PRR. I see. Hey, there. Was... That could be your out. You could float the PRR. The lowest price possible. Par it at sixty-seven. <laughs> 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 just to be rude uh, it wouldn't be my first time seeing it happen I'll say that much you could do what I wanted to do which is go for the the aggressive can pack float I am <laughs> very te I, I mean I'm honestly tempted to do it um, I'm just trying to figure out how it works if I only have a small amount of money in the company let's see you need enough you need to time it right so that you break into the threes, but you're buying twos because you want to lay Burlington and you want to station Ottawa and then you're running. You got to pay the 80 here. So that's eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. You got to buy two, two trains. Yeah, three, I mean, two I trains. Couldn't... One, two, three. Yeah, three, two trains. 
Uh, yeah. I don't know if that station at Ottawa is all that beneficial, though. It only adds 30 to the run. 30 like, I feel like 30 you bucks. could... Mm. I that feel is like a factually can... true statement, yes. Yes, but then you're <laughs> then you're pushing pushing the trains faster, which is actively bad for a multiple two company. Um, yeah, like... you might just want the two two trains and just hit Ottawa uh, once. Yeah, uh, Marcos, it's apparently a thing. It's a, and it yeah. apparently works. Um, my understanding is that I it was more common back in like the nineties. It's not as common nowadays of a play, but it's a thing. I mean, I'm more interested in doing it just because we never have a game where we par can pack early. Yeah, I think and it's I... really cool. Like, I wanted to do it just because it's cool and, and also, like, good. Like, not, like, the best you can do, but it seems like it's good. Well, see, that's, uh, that's the hard thing is, like, the obvious, the obvious par is... NYNH, but I've played that game so many damn times. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm not doing it because you said it. I was thinking it myself. I want to be clear. Sure, Alan. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so, uh, par and camp pack at 71. Being super, super mad about that fact. It actually does play nicely with Delaware and Hudson as well. Because Camp Pack's biggest problem is that it gets stuck. Yeah. D&H gives me the out. If you, you know, want it. <sighs> did anyone notice that I renamed the uh, priority deal? I did. <laughs> I love, I love this <laughs> name. Hi, <laughs> Peanut. How do you know it's a he? Did you ask him? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a circus peanut. <laughs> like the candy? No, those are disgusting. Oh, they're they horrible. So they are they are very much an American abomination, but you know, whatever. God, the BN uh, the PRR is such a dog in the early game. I guess Oh, shit. Campac gets so many tokens, maybe it is worth it. Ugh. It's only 30 bucks. Either par PRR, or I don't float. Unless I go in hard on the B&O. Damn, man, I have no clue what I'm doing. I think I have. I think I know what I'm doing, and then like we get into the game, and I have no clue what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> well, good news, you're not alone this game. <laughs> I mean, I think that's I like everything like the, I do. My life is just a constant confusion. I feel like the obvious play is parring PRR. It is the obvious play, but I'm thinking like PRR. It's not great in the early game. I don't feel like. Uh, you just push to New York. I guess, I guess. All it's right. awkward because you need to get to the greens in order to get there, but yeah, you have CNA. You have CNA, which means you can unlock the ooze at Philadelphia and Trenton. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. I'm happy about it. Uh, do do do. Getting ahead of myself. I'm just gonna pull it down here and buy in the president's cert. Uh, do, do, do. What I par at? I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> well, you have enough money to par any company at the 67 price point. Yep. Uh, NYNH is kind of like the standard good one because New York is such a revenue center. Um, yeah, I should mention the game revolves around New York because it is the place to be. That's fair. So if I par NYNH at 67, I can 
I can only buy one share of it right now, which will give me the president's share. Right? Two shares. Yeah, it'll give me the two shares. But I only have to yeah. spend one. I only no. have to spend six to seven dollars on it. No, you'd have to spend you have to spend for both shares. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, that's fair. It's the value is that you get to buy two at once and also just that one share counts or one cert counts as two shares. Mm hmm Greenmeister, he can't do that. We're in SR1. And then I can take this because I'm the president. Uh, yeah, you. We're we're uh, sure. we're we're skipping steps. You technically don't grab it until the company floats, but we all know we're gonna float, so we're just we're we're, we're teaching bad habits right now. Is it's what's it's exactly oh, well, what's happening. It's also bad correct. Habits. <laughs> buy bad habits. I don't do bad habits. Only bad horses. <laughs> Oh, geez. Uh, if all th if all three of us par a company, then nobody can force float B and O. I'm a pass. <laughs> yeah, of course you are. Uh, continue. Yep, I will buy a PRR. Hey, train based gameplay. Okay. Passing a lily. I heard her say yes in real life. I I said I, I, oh yes. <laughs> Were there words in that? No, <laughs> no, that was just me stuttering. All right, Billy, you're up. Yep, I'm doing the same thing. Screw it. All the decisions. Can you handle the decisions? Yeah. <laughs> uh, about PRR, it floats. Uh, upon floating, it gets ten times its par value, which is. Seven D six. There we go. All right. Oh, I want to grab another share here. All right. I flew. Hey, I could have wanted to do something at this point in time. Do you want to do, and something, do something at this point in time? I do want to do something at this point in time. That's why I started. Gosh, Gary. What are you doing? So annoying. Uh, just for the snad comment. Taking PRR. <laughs> Garrick? Pass. Yep. Now I grab my damn thing, because now it floats. Yep. And I get 10 times the amount, so I get 670. Yep. All right. Where does it get taken from? Uh, take just, money. Just take money, yeah. It comes from the bank. All right, got it. You cool. done, All right. Do I get to just spend money now? Because I will. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm. This is pretty great. This means that I get priority deal. Cool. Oh, I'm totally <laughs> fine with that. I just wanted to make sure that no one was going to try to force me to float without me having control. Oh no, that makes sense. Uh, I think. Let's see. Oh, boop. Nah, you don't want that one. Oh, I can't buy two of each. I'm sad. That'd be a little so ridiculous. I can almost buy two of each. Uh, who? Uh. All right, I'm done. Oh wait, no, that's not the right. I spent for the other one. I'm bad at this. There I just, I just like this. <laughs> All right, end of the stock round. Yep. Really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, at the end, nobody is sold out, so nobody rises up. We go to an operating round. Private pay. Everyone got their money. First to operate will be B and O. It's not floated, so it doesn't operate. Uh, PRR will be the first to operate. PRR will lay track there. Then PRR is going to fail to run. Falls back on the stock market. It's going to buy a two train, 80. Um, do 
do I want more? There's five left. One and out. Always be buying trains. That's true. That's true. Here's here's the danger. You only buy one, and you're almost we're almost certainly sticking in yellow. Yeah. So I'm getting another one. I was sort of I was mostly thinking how many more did I want to get. Because you know my standard move is just buy like four two trains and call it a day. <laughs> that would be pretty great. I wouldn't even be sad about it. It's four left. Yeah, I'm going to buy a third because I don't know what I'm doing. All right. <laughs> that is my turn. Can pack is up. Interesting. Uh, hang on two seconds. Sure. <laughs> I thought so, Marcos. <laughs> oh, did we pay privates? Yes, we did. Okay. One thing I didn't mention, Billy, which I have a feeling you might uh, already know, is that there are train limits. Companies can only hold yes, so many trains. It's, yeah, it's on there. Yeah. I just realized I should probably say it for the stream, if nothing else. I mean this in the nicest way uh, possible. Uh, Fuck you, stream. Just kidding. Love you all. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Play that track. Play that track. Oh. What are you going to do? Not I'm lay track? I, I am deciding if it would be entirely mean to File three of them? can pack and and uh, drop it like a rock on Lily. Do it. You should hundred percent do it. <laughs> but I wanted to do something interesting. I mean, that would be pretty fun. Uh, Freddie. Allen has the Champlain and St. Lawrence, as well as the Delaware and Hudson. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. That would be interesting, but it's not what I came here to do. What? You didn't come here to win? <sighs> <laughs> Garrick. Why are you wanting to make me mean to your partner? <laughs> I could do that. <laughs> well... No, I want to play it out. Ah, fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. <sighs> Do it. Her body is ready. All right. I don't run. I don't make any money. 
I buy three two trains and a three train. Hells yeah! Yes! <laughs> you gonna embezzle some money? And then I'm gonna spend two hundred and ten, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you can save one of them. I c well, hmm. true. I could just do Champlain and St. Lawrence, but I feel like the value here is getting a little ahead, and I think dying on a spear for ten dollars is not the way to do that. No, it's not. Get your value. Yeah. I guess... I could just not lay track, honestly. I think I mean, this is more Lily... destructive. Well, oh, it's 100% it's destructive, but it's less that I care about it being destructive and more that I care about... The money. Yeah. Oh, actually... If I don't lay it, Lily can't won't have enough money to lay it herself. Oh! <laughs> uh, how much do they get from private revenue? Does that make the difference? They get twenty five. Oh yeah, that's right. Mm. So what's going on? Uh, Alan I'm is, just Alan is prepping to dump the can pack on Lily at the next stock round. I'm, oh, hoping for, I'm hoping for both Camp Pack and PRR. That's my goal right now. I'll be honest, I was tempted. I haven't decided yet. I know. I'm excited. It's what I was going Do for. I, I, I apologize for like doing so much analysis paralysis on literally the first move of the game, but... No, every 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 move matters in this game, so take your time. Yeah, I think I am Why don't we just play every 1830 mm. every week? Does anyone yeah, know? Let's just let's just do this. Let's just ruin it for everybody involved. I wish I could I wish I could use the CNL ability this turn, but I can't. Yeah. Because they can only be used during the track life phase. Boom. I've looted it. Okay. Uh, can done. pack is done. Billy. Well, Billy, on the bright side, you can... Your first track lay can actually be upgraded <laughs> in New York. <laughs> if you want. Okay, so question. Yep. I can upgrade New York, yes, but if I wanted to go here, it has to be one of the ones with two centers on it, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. You can only so do one, one of these. these over here. And you would be it right... It doesn't have a price. How much does it cost? Nothing, because there's no price listed. So it literally doesn't cost me anything to lay track there. Yep. Yep. All right. All right, so let's do this in order. Is it my turn? Can I go? Yep, it is your turn. You can go. All right, so I am going to lay track. I'm going to lay this one. I like the way this one looks. Uh, no, that's not the one I want. Hold on. It's this one I want. Uh, no. Sorry. I got to figure out the one. So if I go here, I only get this one, not both of them, right? Correct. Not over here? Yep. Okay. Um, I should maybe get both of them. I should maybe say dits are typically uh, an annoyance because they're only worth 10 and they can't be upgraded to increase in value over the course of the game. Uh, before you hit diesels, they mostly suck unless you're doing something with two trains like Alan was almost doing to like multi hit or things like that. And that true but there. i'm literally right here yeah. i have to go here i don't have a choice uh that's what Unless alan was saying you, this. yeah you could upgrade the new york Which... yeah there is something something to be pointed out uh this is a unique tile 
It is the only one with a sharp in the game. And it has a lot of value for trying to loop New York on itself. So it's also pro- this is also a terrible place to put it. Because uh, this well, no, is. I, I, yeah. I'm more just mentioning. Like, if I really wanted to loop New York on itself, it is possible in this instance. Well, so this track yeah. play is not legal because it'd be going off the map, which is not something I mentioned during the teach, but you can never lay track that goes off the map. Also, uh, Chris, thank you so much. As always, you are insane, man. I appreciate it. But that can happen. Yes. And right. that is, in fact, that. the thing that people want to do very much. Which is, okay. the, but that's the potential reason for wanting to lay that green New York as early as possible. Because if you can when establish to do it, right? that loop, it's great. Yeah, it's 80 to lay right, that. Right now, right now, you cannot lay that tile. Yep, but I will do this. Um, just fucking do it. All right. So just what? one more thing is just that the the thing to think about is that if you spend your next turn laying this, you will not have a legal route because you do not have a second right. revenue center. So you just just be in my, keep in mind if you rush to lay Allentown and hit NY from the other side, you're gonna have one more turn of not paying. Yeah, you you can still lay New Haven Hartford. This is more just you can potentially push back against PRR that mm-hmm. way. Yeah. Yep. All right, that's fair. I am gonna still do this. Sounds good. Oh, I'm not gonna run anything. So hey, look at that. It was what eighty. Yes. And I throw through your home station token out there. Thank you. All right. And then I am going to buy 590. I'm going to buy two, three trains. They're what, 130 a piece? Uh, 180 a piece. Yeah, two of them. Two of them? Okay. Did you give me two? I did not. I wanted to make sure you knew how much you were spending. Yep, nope, I know. Uh, and then also, I'll mention you are allowed to purchase your privates because we're in green. If you want. So I can get money from this for this. Yep. Um, I don't need to yet. I'm good. The, the thing I'll say is that the reason to do it is because it gets money out of your company into your hands, which lets you buy shares, which gives you more money, which you can then funnel back into the company with an emergency money raising if you need to in the future. Okay, that's fair. Do I just spend whatever's on the card? Uh, You can do up to two times the face of a private. So uh, you could do this one up to 220 and this one up to 40. Whether you want to be a little conservative and leave money in the company, and do only this one at 40 or do this for less than max like that's all strategic consideration but I mean, right. the, the difficulty with two three trains with new york new haven is you can you probably won't be able to run both of them for quite some time yeah oh that's fair because they have to run three right they can't run two no they can no, run they can. two they but can. they can't overlap remember like realistically you're looking at at least three or turns yeah, three tile fair. lays before you could actually run them efficiently yeah that's fair i'll add one i'll just buy one then and then i'll buy this for what do for, i just do payout for it uh just hit spend uh, money and then type in the amount on your personal thing and take money oh okay. yeah that's fair. i will do that not quite forever, Mike. <laughs> um, and then I'll buy that as the same way. I'll just do it for two twenty. I'm not. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. So what you're doing is what people typically do. So you're not. Yeah. You're not making egregious mistakes or anything. All right. Cool. Okay. Uh, that is our stock round or our, our operating round. We go back to a stock round, and priority deal is with Alan. All right, in the into the trash. In the <laughs> most surprising move of the game, uh, oh, wait, trash, let's just trash, trash. Let's just give this to Lily. Thank you. 
Oh, I can only sell five. Mm-hmm. Rip. That's okay. It still transfers ownership. Sure does. Uh, bonk. So that's going to be 67. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. <laughs> what is this bullshit? I put one dollar <laughs> short every time. <laughs> you lost oh, the auction, no. buddy. <laughs> oh, no. This is so bad. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. <laughs> Oh man, this game's too good. Okay. Um Well, I can always par at 90. It's not like horrible. I just if I'd realized it was literally going to be the difference of a dollar, which I probably should have done the math, I would not have laid that tile. Sad for me. Um, okay. Now I have to decide what company I'm parring, which is a little difficult. Eerie never feels good. Oh, that's it's, a good point. It's either... Yeah, Mike has a good point. I don't know what you're waiting for, Alan. You should just swipe B and O. I mean, that's... I definitely can. It's more the question of how much does B and O's value get tanked from Spite? She only has 20%. Yeah. We'll just start with a single B and O buy. Well, you can't do more than that, so that makes sense. I'm I'm talking about <laughs> later plans. <laughs> um, Garrick's feeling sassy tonight. I'm having. I'm, we're playing 1830. How can I not be having fun? Uh, being see. fun and having fun and being sassy are two totally different things. That's fair. Well, so, Garrick, are you going to dump all your PRR? <laughs> I don't think I'm going to dump all my PRR because unlike you, I didn't able, I was not able to purchase my private to funnel money out. Um, Be right back. Sure. I'm now trash, apparently. <laughs> I will hold this title forever. <laughs> I could... Damn, Molly, all right. <laughs> I it was not my thing. It was it was chat. I blame chat entirely for this. This is my new title from chat. Could. I could, I could. Let me do the math real quick. Um, back. I think I'm just going to sell the one for seventy one. Sell one, buy one. Uh, oh, actually, was it at forty? I didn't even need to. So, you know what, maybe I don't. So. You did see where I laid that curved track, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, it can, it can. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. I mean, that, that won't get fixed to the Browns. <sighs> NY and H is, am I really the only company that's going to friggin' make money? No, I'll yeah. probably make money this turn. Screw it, I'm passing. I'm passing. I'm also passing. 
You have money. Yeah. It's fair. Louis? Bloop. Ouch. Should have sold one. Ooh, I wonder if I needed to sell one to block Lily. How much do you have? You can sell. No, I can only get to 40%, uh, yeah. but yeah. that's enough to tank the company pretty decently. It's fair. All right, Alan? I, I'll buy I am, here. I'm a spite human. It's a reasonable thing to be spiteful about. I'm I'm glad of one thing, Alan. Oh? You did not force CPR to have a connection. So I have to make decisions of because it doesn't technically need a train with this. So True. I'm I've got to figure out what I want to do with that information. So there was no way for me to create a connection, otherwise I would have. You would have used the champlain. You can use it before. You can use it as a person, not as the company. It says a corporation owning uh, a melee it's... tile on the hex. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I I definitely would have, but it's not a legal thing to do. Oh, for some reason I thought that was okay. I was getting mixed up. Yeah, if I could have forced it to have a connection, it would have been an immediate decision and less of a <laughs> less of a thing. <laughs> Yeah, you should definitely not lay any track at all. Uh, I'm on pass. I'm debating it. So it's back to Billy. I'm going to pass again. There, now you guys are even. I kept turn order and everything. There. Oops, no. That's the wrong way. You know, Crewmaster, you joke, but I would not hate doing, like, one mo Monopoly stream for April 1st. No, Monopoly is the devil. Not if you well, follow see, the, the rules. Well, see, the thing is, Monopoly is an auction game. Yeah, I like auction games. <laughs> I follow the rules. It's still the devil. Yep. Well, that, that makes sense. It wasn't supposed to be a, a game that you're enjoying. I know, it's not. It's supposed to be a game where you're like, I hate everyone, and capitalism is the devil. <laughs> Whose turn is it? So it's clearly doing its job. It's, it's out. Mine. I'm, I'm thinking. It's dangerous, I know. I'm going to buy this NYNH for 63. Are you trying to buy time until Lily dumps B&O so that you can uh, buy it cheaper? That doesn't, no, that doesn't work. Yeah, what are you doing? He's going investor. He's getting cheap shares. Um, maybe I don't know, or maybe he's just deciding to everyone needs to be dumped even farther. Well, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna stick on pass. I'm also gonna pass. I'm on pass. All right. Uh, so that's the thing. I actually am debating investor for a round. I think you can let Lily get that thirty bucks. Well, the beauty is I can I can buy another share of B&O and float it. Lily can dump it on me with all of its cash if she wants. Um, or I can tank it myself. And then I just get to play that game. Uh, I will buy a share of B&O. 400. BNO floats. Make the table bigger! Oh. <laughs> Here, I move these over for you. Oh, oh yay! And room. the table's bigger. 
Magic. All right, back to Billy. That is not BNO, you're right. <laughs> yeah, that's Chesapeake in Ohio. Oh, did I take the wrong one? You took the wrong sure one. Sure did. Oh. Whoops. Oh, wait up. No. Um, anyone doing anything? I'm not. Nope. Okay. Hold up. Oh, hold up. My turn. I think I'm going to spend 63 on this. Solid choice. All right, I'm going to buy another B&O. Pass. Pass. I will also pass. What you gonna do, Alan? Debating. <laughs> what happens if you two tie? Does she still remain? I keep it. Yeah. Because you have the president certificate? Yep. Yep. I got it first. But if he goes to 50% and you don't, he then takes it. Correct. Okay. I'm going to buy an NYNH for 63. Pass. Or 67, actually. Why does it go up to 67? Oh, because it's still initial offering. Yep. Yeah. Anyone doing anything now? Nope. Nope. Okay. No. I think... I'm gonna buy another NYNH. Don't tank my shit! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome oh, to 18XX! <laughs> I'm on pass. I am also on pass, but it is Billy's turn first. Alright, if we're gonna play the evil game, I'm buying a BNL. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> um. The one, the one thing I'll warn you of, Billy, is that Lily's ready to dump the no at any time, which means you're gonna actually, immediately lose actually, value if she does. Understandable. Okay, I'm ready to do it, but I think he's gonna do it first because he wants to hurt me for some reason. I don't know I, why, but that's fair. <laughs> everyone's making grand assumptions about me dumping stuff. I kind of no, not not you. We just know no, how much you love Billy dumping. I have Alan. a vendetta that crosses games now. <laughs> yeah, no, apparently me and Billy are just like sworn enemies no matter what happens. So anything I do, he's going to try to hurt it. Well, you guys certainly aren't <laughs> making me like my investment. <laughs> that said, I don't know that I have a lot of options. Not for $39, no. Well, I'd have to sell a share. Oh, that's fair. I guess if I sell any B, you know, I'm selling all of it. And mm -hmm. if I did that, I actually can't get as much value back. I don't, I don't want any more PRR because that's liable to get dumped. Yep. Uh, NYNH and B&O are fairly safe right now. I, I feel like I either sell the PRR to buy an NYNH, which would be, which I actually like doing that. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll sell PRR for 63, buy an NYNH for 67, which is the last one. Uh, so I spent four dollars.
We're going to go to the moon together, Billy. <laughs> to the moon. I have faith. Garrick? Yeah, I'm actually thinking. We're in dangerous territory now because I officially... It's officially possible for you all to rust the twos out from under me before I run them. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, How many food no. trains do you have left? There's three. three. B&O would have to buy... That. Mm. Actually, I, is it I, possible? I don't think it is. Because Bino would buy three and get train locked, and then NYNH and Canpac can't Wait, why would buy... They get, why well, would they get train locked? Yeah, why would they get train locked? Before buying it the only comes. It only gets a train limit of three once the four is bought. Oh, you're right. Yeah. So yeah, Bino... Bino could do that. It probably Bino won't, but it could. do that. Oh, That'd no. funny. We'll see what... Okay. I'm not even doing it. I'm just very concerned that we're not all hating each other. Oh, that would cost $840. Just as a spite play. <laughs> well, it's not just spite, because it... Well, okay. I he, mean, it hurts me, too, because I don't know these three No, Garrick, it, Garrick it would be just spite, because you have enough money to buy a four train. That's fair, but I haven't bought my private yet, so it would be screwing with It'd my It would be unfortunate cash. for you. Yeah. It definitely would be an unfortunate turn of events. Uh, but I was going to say, it'd be a lot more spite if she was not the proud owner of the can pack. Uh, but she is. So she certainly has a less I'm, I'm incentive. very proud of my ownership I, of the I can I said pack. you were proud. Oh, yes. <laughs> the, the beauty of can pack in the, in the hands of the B&O presidency holder is you can just pay can pack for its trains. Just go ahead and shuttle that two, that three train on over for a dollar. <laughs> That's right, Chris. Join Garrick on his B and Only fans. It is. <laughs> oh, no. it is I officially the... <laughs> petitioned to ban Chris from chat for five minutes for that pot. Oh no, no, no. Chris days. I love him too much right now. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Whew. What's happening? Uh yeah, I was I was debating if I need to do anything on my turn. Um I don't think well, I do. I mean, obviously you want to sell four shares of PRR. <laughs> I want to. I don't think I should. I also do not think you should. But I want to. I, know I think we should go to the moon together, Garrick. <laughs> As an investor in PRR, I think we should go to the moon together. Are you going to invest again? Because you are officially up. I am passing. Oh, no, I'm passing. <laughs> oh, lovely. So, uh, what happened? I passed. Uh, Billy passed. It's on to you. I'm passing. Alan? I'm also passing. Okay. Who was the last person deal? to take a stock action? Uh, I'm I pretty sure it was me. I thought Billy bought the BNO after you. No, I bought. I sold a PR and okay. uh, yeah. bought an yeah, yeah. You're yeah. right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Um, don't tell me to spend some money, Freddie. Okay. Don't you do it? If you don't, <laughs> if you don't want to spend money, Billy, uh, that is a okay. Uh, nothing. Yeah. There's. A Actually, safe buy for Billy right now. Does the NY rise? It looks like it. NY and it, it does. That was that was very intentional on my part. Yeah, I believe it. All right, into the operating set. Privates pay. Uh, first up is the B and O. So does my corporation not get money because of the privates? It should, but you have to put it on the private. Oh sure. yeah, that's All my bad. bad. Just uh, go ahead and take twenty five into the company. Got it. Lily with a B and O. I'm debating what I want Rust to do. Rust him out. <laughs> just no. out of spite. No, I'm just kidding. It's not a good play. If, if you didn't 
if he couldn't recover immediately to a four train, it might be worth it. But, but... I'm not. I'm definitely not going to to spite Rust. I'm just. I'm curious how spiteful I want to be. Because spite is fun. Spite is fun. We play these games for spite, don't we? Yes. Yes. That's the only reason I play these games. All right, let's spend 80 to lay some track. Oh, I have to go to the Deep South. Sadness. Yeah, you don't get a choice yet. Unfortunately, going to the Deep South is very sad. It's a sad place. It is a sad place. As someone who lives very close to the Deep South, it's a sad place. Put that there. See, the thing is, if you don't rust the two trains, you can just buy over all those twos. <laughs> yeah, that's the plan. Nice. Uh, let's see, how much am I buying these twos over for? $1,000. Uh, no, you know, I am. I'm going to buy it over for all of the money. <laughs> I'll buy two trains. You get two two trains. All right. I'm done. <laughs> I failed to run, and it is... NYNH. Uh, yeah. All right. So the first thing is lay track, right? Mm hmm I'm going to do that. It doesn't cost me anything. Uh, what's next? Purchase a station. Don't have any place to purchase a station from. So run trains. So I can run there for 70. So what do I do? I take this thing and put it on a 70? Uh, put it on the 7. Not 70. Yeah. It's it's showing 10% of the revenue of the, the run. It's... Oh, okay. Yeah, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. So, that point, I can pay dividends or withhold revenue. I'm going to withhold revenue and put it into the company. Ooh, ooh <laughs> Billy breaking all the meta. <laughs> and that drops its price back down to 63, right? Or does it go to the left? It goes to the it left. Goes to the the left. left. Alright, cool. 58. Into the yellow. Uh, that gives that to 245. Um, then I can buy a train. Um, I'm not going to buy any trains for that, though. Not buying any? Ah, uh, yeah, I'll buy through it. Ah, uh, no, I don't need to yet. I'm good. Okay. Uh, next up is the PRR. PRR is going to lay that city. What are you laughing about? Um, mm -hmm. I heard a snicker. Oh, it's the cat. Oh, okay. I'm laughing at the cat. Got it. Uh, I'm going to run for 30. We will pay it out, because money is money. And... Oh, I've got the Camden Nam boy, that's right. Oh, I uh, got to get rid of this thing. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. I was right. Do -ba -do. Do -ba -do. Ah, money. I feel so much better. Money. Uh, we will buy a three train while they're cheap. And while they exist. Or, or accurately. <laughs> That's the wrong button. There we go. So now we go to operating round two. Oh, yeah. We have another operating round. No. CPAC! Hold on, I'm Still being- Still exists! Hold on, I'm being a dumb dumb. I keep- I always forget when there's a second round. I need to not do it yet. Let me 
take my money. Uh, I'm just going to hold on to this and I'll transfer it over in a second. It should okay. be fine. Okay. Uh, yeah, can pack is up. Yeah. All right. Can pack is going to use the Champlain and St. Lawrence ability. And, uh, we'll go that way. Isn't it a double? Oh, no, it's a single. Okay. Yep, cool. it's a single. I would love it to be a double. Can we turn it into a double? No. <laughs> Damn it! Uh, and that, that'll be my actual track lay. Yep. Uh, then we will run the three train for 70. Or, nice. Yeah, yep. 70. 70. Okay. And... I will gladly pay out. <laughs> I knew I should have bought a share. And that moves over to the 50. Like okay. That. that is the operating round. On to the next one. Privates pay. And I'm going to go ahead and just throw that back over. Uh, BNO is up. All right. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> Play track. Sorry, I saw Cruz. I saw Cruz comment, and it just made me laugh. Uh, yeah, I'll upgrade this one. Interesting choice. Um, yeah, I can upgrade so the, the me. No. No, I'm not. Um, the main reason I'm not doing that is because this tile is getting double hit. That's fair. So mm, that's... in my brain logic, that makes more sense. Well, it effectively <laughs> is this. It's the same. <laughs> it's effectively the same amount. Um, but I prefer to do this for some reason. Well, probably because this is a little more painful to the future owner of B&O. Uh, so that's running for, uh, I think, 130. Is if I'm not poor incorrect. Richmond. Richmond will just never get run to. Is is it? I, I think I, it's not possible because the brown tile is every spoke and it would have to run into the ocean. But then how? Like, is it possible? Oh wait, no. Yeah, never mind. I wanted this one. No, I. I oh, my you brain, do want that. That's I do want that because my brain couldn't figure it out. If I had realized I could have run to both of them, I probably would have transferred over another two. Just because oh. then I would have had that extra 50. I'll, you know, I'll take this while I can. So it's running for 130. I'm going to pay out. Where's the extra 10 coming from? What am I missing? Because you're running 6 and 6, right? Ah, yes, and I can only see the 40 on the Deep South and not. <laughs> that is called <laughs> cheating. Yes, that is, that is in fact correct. So how much money do I need to give back? Don't worry about it. I will pay negative money. <laughs> All right. Uh, so that moves forward. And uh, go ahead. It goes to NYNH. Um, all right. So. I guess I'm going to build right here. Can I do that? Absolutely. That yep. Play? yep. That is a legal play. And then I am going to run my three train again. Mm -hmm. 70 more. I am going to pay out this time, though. So OK, I have adjusted your share price. Ooh. To the moon. Uh, just wait, crewmaster. Robert shows up eventually. OK. And then I'm going to spend 180 on buying Another three train. Okay. Uh, PRR is up. PRR. Um, PRR is not going to win the race, I don't think. 
So PRR was worth more than me. Is it because I'm farther up the track? Did I want first? Oh, no, yes. I just, no, I just can't no. see. Oh, no, you were, yeah. we're all blind. Yeah, I, I should have gone first. I just can't see. Uh, Do you want to, does what I did matter? No. No. Okay. Um, I kind of feel like going south to uh, Washington is maybe the play. I don't know. Or you could just lay the ooh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just... Uh, what's it? Canyon Amboy? Yeah, I just lay the ooh. Is it that one? It's not that one. I, I think you want it to be that one if your goal is to get into New York. Yeah. Um... I've got all these trains. So we'll go ahead and token the ooh. No, I won't. I don't have money. Mm. Don't worry, you'll get money one day. Um, uh, how much does it increase my run? By enough. Yeah, I'm just going to have bought the private over for 18 less. Mm -hmm. Yep, and then spend the 40 on that token. Uh, I will make back the money with the improved route. So we're going to go ahead and run for... 30 and 60 for a total of 90. Yeah. Does each station increase it by 10? E uh, what do you mean? I'm just, you were running 10, uh, 20, 40. Uh, no, so what I'm doing is I'm running one of my trains from here to here, and then the other from here to here. Oh, that's fair. Yep. yep, you're good. Sorry. You're fine. That is a, an unintuitive thing that is good for me to explain explicitly. Uh, I am paying out. Oh, wait, there's a share in the bank pool. There is a share in the bank pool. <laughs> there's know. a share in the bank pool. There's a snake in my boot. Anyway, um... Neo Marcos, I rolled back my private purchase to do it for 18 fewer dollars than max, uh, and then used the <sighs> cash, the the used the that plus the cash I had left in the treasury to pay for the station. Anyway, that is PRR all done. Can pack is up. All right. Uh, can pack's not sure what the frick can pack's doing. Oh. Um. Go south to New York. Go ahead and token teleport to Scranton. Oh, yeah, I forgot I had that. Yeah. <laughs> now that you've put all of your uh, eggs into the can pack basket. <laughs> um, uh, all right, so we'll. Uh, Pay the one twenty.
very excited for uh, that to actually. We're going this way. Yeah, you should definitely go that way. <laughs> you should definitely go that way. Uh, I thought about it for a good ten seconds. I just, I just needed to, you know, make sure what was going on in my brain was right, and it was right. I just put it down the way it was. Clearly, uh, um, you don't need to pay the station cost. Oh, I don't. No. Okay. What next? Okay. That's everyone, I think. Uh, no, she hasn't run yet. I, could buy, yeah. I haven't run yet. I could buy trains. There's so many things I can do. Uh, my route does not change. Uh, so why didn't that? Oh, oh Lily. <laughs> you missed such a fun opportunity. What? Is everything OK? Yeah, the cat just decided to scale my leg. Got it. <laughs> Sorry, that was just a lot of pain all of a sudden that I was not prepared for. <gasps> she forgot how to jump. Uh, what did I miss, Alan? No, actually, I don't think you did. You cool. can still do it. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Goodbye, two trains. It was nice to know you. Rest in spaghetti, two trains. All right. And uh, because I paid out, you go up. All right, now we're done. Okay. On to the stock round. Uh, party deals with me. Hey, look at that. Look at that. I'm mathing. It's fine. Take your time. Uh, we're going to go ahead and sell two PRRs for 68. So how does that go down? Does it just It is on a ledge, so it doesn't go down. Oh, nice. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and then we will par. I think I like C and O the most of the remaining three. I don't know. I've never liked Eerie in this game. It's in such an awkward spot. Well, B and O has opened up. Or Boston and Maine, I mean. Yeah. And this is maybe the time to do it. Since it's going to end up buying a four train. Maybe. Maybe it gets into New York. Yep, four train gets it to New York. Doesn't have much game long potential, but Cleveland and Ohio is just so slow. 
Yeah. So is eerie. I don't know. The other thing to think about is whether I want it to be a suitcase. Uh, you do need that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think I'm going to do C and O. I think I can go either way with C and O. Ah, yes. Be convenient. I will make this decision later, company. Exactly. All right, I've spent my 200. I've put out its stock market markers. Billy, you are up. I love that Garrick's going to win this game just because he's the only one doing standard play. <laughs> he's actually playing the game and not being, you know, just being spiteful. Hey, I love what y'all are doing from a safe distance. <laughs> oh, it's, it's now my share of the B and L. That's a that's a safe bet. Yes. Yeah. That is a yeah, great love it. great move. <laughs> and I'm going to par Boston and Maine. Interesting. All right. I'm going to sell the rest of beef. Oh. Yes, you are. Nice. <laughs> Here, have a company with zero dollars and no trade. <laughs> this is what you get for dumping one company on me. What's hilarious about this is you you actually saw no negative value from getting Campac. Yep, that was the plan. <laughs> Oops. That, that's one, fun. Two, I love three, it. Four. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I, I've Here, known this have, was have coming this, have for a this while. Lovely, so it's, love this company. <laughs> I've known that was the plan. I just, uh, I'm deciding how I want to react. Are you? You're just selling. You're not. No, no. Anything? I'm. I'm. I'm thinking of what I want to buy. Uh, I think I'm gonna. Oh, I have to par this, don't I? Oh, yes. you do. Yes. Um, Yes, 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 yes. I saw you spend the money, so I knew what you meant to do. Yeah. I just, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna buy a PR. Interesting. I was half expecting you to par Erie. I was expecting it too. I, I was debating it, but I decided I didn't want to yet. Or I thought you might try to like attack one of the new flo floated companies or something. Oh, uh, that's fair. Wait, let me. I hate thinking. Thinking is hard. <laughs> uh, the problem with attacking one of the new founded companies is I put a bunch of shares in the bank pool, which can technically be good for them. But then again, then everything is just ch cheap. All right. I keep trying to grab Chesapeake in Ohio, so I think I should just give in to it. Freddie Knuckles, I once had a, a moment uh, where I was so exhausted. I was on the computer and I wanted to scoot the monitor a little bit farther away from me. And I moved the mouse up to try and do that. <laughs> Just like completely, <laughs> completely brain farted. or just like, if I move the mouse, it moves the screen away from me. <laughs> so question. Yes. Like, I know it's not my turn. I'm just curious. Sure. I can't immediately now dump B&O and drop it down to 82, correct? Um, um, you sold a B&O share, which means you cannot purchase more B&O shares in this stock round. That is something and I, you know, I meant Boston and Maine. Sorry. Boston and Maine. Uh, you can never sell a president's cert to the bank pool. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Uh, yeah, if you could do that, the there'd be no penalty to dumping things. Yeah. Hmm. So the question is, who am I bringing down with me? 
I chose Garrick. All right. Oh, I he needed something. think I will buy one camp pack and sell two. Just to keep it, Dad. <laughs> uh, there's 60% in the bank pool, which is not possible. That is oh, true. Oh, that's right. Sad. Fine. Okay. Let me think about it then. Um. So yeah. Put Where it was it? Right there. It was. It was that. No, oh, it was 60. 60. Yeah, that makes sense. <sighs> so yeah, that's. I can't leverage that at all. All right, well, I'll just buy one for 60 then. Uh, I'm going to purchase a CNO, unsurprisingly. Really? Uh, I'll spend and buy another Boston and main. Really? Well, I'm on pause from my my uh, hateful buying of your company because I have to protect Campac now. This pleases me. Gross. <laughs> Alan? Um, as much as I don't want to do it, uh, I think I have to. I am going to sell four shares of NYNH. Also gross. Also gross. Four. And then I will buy one can pack for 60 and then sell two to the bank pool. Okay. I'm fine with this. Uh, yeah, because I mean, I could spend a lot of time forcing you up and it just doesn't do anything ultimately. So I ultimately gain sixty dollars from that. Okay, uh, I will buy a C and O. I'm gonna sell my pencil, my PRR, and so that's what sixty-eight that I get. Yes, sixty-eight. And then buy NRR for 40. Beautiful. Something's wrong. What's wrong? I took money instead of spending money for one of my camp packs. Mm. That's, I was like, I should not have this much money. Wait. <laughs> Uh, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. I was like, I am not doing this well. I know that. <laughs> um, this makes a lot more sense. These look like more reasonable cash values. Yeah. Whose turn is it? Lily's. Oh, it is? Yes. Sorry. Oh, I'm back to, you know, going after Garrick's company. It floats. Beauty. Garrick, all of your shares are upside down. All of your shares are upside down. I will buy a Boston and Maine. Um. Oh man, those NYNHs are tantalizingly close to the brown. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just noticed Billy bought one of the shares I sold. Cool. Yeah, it is cool.
Whose turn is it? It's mine. I think I'm going to buy a Boston and Maine. I pass. I'm by a CNO. By a Boston and Maine. Now it floats. Yep. Then they get a hundred thousand or ten thousand. Gets one thousand. Oh, I can't. Yep. <laughs> one hundred thousand. The game is over. <laughs> hey. Um. I'll buy a Boston and Maine and then dump the two I have. Fucking rude. <laughs> <laughs> Marcos, are we playing above your understanding or below your understanding? You are up, Billy. This is not the most shares I've seen in the bank pool for for eighteen. For us. <laughs> all right, I will spend another hundred uh, for one CNO and just dump all of them. Yep. Here. Yep. Let's let's more add more. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Welcome to eighteen thirty, Billy. <laughs> Ah, uh, this game's too good. All right, I'm gonna buy a B and M for eighty two, and then sell three. Yeah, baby. Yes, you are. <laughs> Two, three. Ah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Kill it. You get too far ahead with, uh, you know, your share prices. That's not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> uh, uh, how much money did I lose because Garrick did that before me? $36? Awesome. I can nice. still afford a 4 train. I gotta make it so I can't afford the 4 train, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what do I invest in? I guess the NYNH. That's a terrible idea, investing in anything. I've got some cash. I should buy something. We're going to have two ORs. It'll, like, things will make money on the second one, I think. Some things will make money on the first one, too. All I'm realizing is that none of the three of you should ever invest or well, operate a company. <laughs> Too late. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. I chose this path for us when I made that first play with Campac. Yes, that, this is actually actively true. Um, there was one game we played. I don't remember what it was, but I spent one turn dumping every single company that I did not own. <laughs> yeah, it was, the, it, was, it was the turn that I... Uh, <laughs> I would par a company, you would then start buying it up, and so I would dump it, and then par a new company, and we ended up in a single OR floating five <laughs> companies. <laughs> it was great! Just between the two of us, it was ridiculous. I'll buy a can pack for 40. You should have learned the first time that I'm going to go after everything you do. I pass. I think that might have been Emu's first game. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, was it really? <laughs> uh, I will buy a camp pack. Yeah, that's safe. Um, I'm gonna buy a CNO. <laughs> <laughs>
Um, trying to think. I think I only sold BNO this turn because I need to start like to keep track of it of what I sold. Uh, you sold. You sold CNO, didn't sold... you? Oh, yeah, you CNO. sold CNO. Yeah. BNO and CNO. Got it. I can remember that. Um. Yeah, I'll buy another can pack. Oh shit, is Kembeck good now? I think it's not bad. Pass. <laughs> I think it's got a four train, which is pretty safe. Right. Four I train, four hundred bucks. Kempek in the market. Yeah, that's it's the safe buy right now. I'm gonna buy another CNO. Um So can I sell one of my trains to Boston and Maine at any point so I can run? You can. Uh, so you can only. God. You it, you never sell trains. You only buy them. So Boston okay. and Maine can purchase a train from New York, New Haven. But it can't run this turn. But it yeah. can't run this turn. Yep. <laughs> Crewmeister. Um. I sold Boston and Maine. I'm going to I'm going to buy an NYNH for 40. I think one is You sell NYNH this turn? I don't think I've owned NYNH shares before oh, this fine. moment. I believe that was Alan. That's fair. I pass. I unless you got unless you lower something more. Yeah, the only thing we can lower more is NYNH. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, that's not true. Alan could lower C or C and L. Well, I meant to uh, to to your price point. Ah, that's fair. Uh, I will also buy an NYNH. Eric, you're up. Yeah, I. Th <sighs> I have to decide. Ugh, I have to decide now. You do have to decide now. I don't know what you're deciding, but you got to decide now. Whether C and O is a briefcase. I don't even know what that means. I you carry. So the technically, if CNO doesn't have a legal uh, route from one city to another city, he never has to buy a train in that company. Lovely. And so the beauty of that is it means he can just dump the CNO thousand dollars starting cash directly into PRR to keep it alive. Oh. The counter to that is somebody could lay track to CNO, but that would be a bit of a pain in the ass. I think Crewmeister's done with this game, you guys. <laughs> I'm just playing against people who are wildly more experienced at this than me, so I'm just like, I'll try some stuff out, but I'm expecting to get absolutely destroyed. I mean, Lily and I are just being goofy. Admittedly, Lily is seeing better return on investment for goofiness than me. 
There is no goofiness on this channel. Remember, we have no fun. Wow. God help you all <laughs> in liberty and death. <laughs> and on Thursday night, Lily. Don't worry. You can get me back there for sure. I'm ready for it. I have been devising plans for Thursday night. Plotting, even. Oh, oh yes, she knows what she did last term, or last time. <laughs> she didn't even win. I didn't. Doesn't matter. Still angry. <laughs> How dare you kill bad, or try to kill bad horse. I just wanted to love the horse with my sword. You just hugged it so hard. Garrick, dump it now. Just dump I'm, it. I'm, I'm doing the math. I'm doing the math. <laughs> do you have your calculator? You... I do. Are you considering dumping CNO on me? Because I'd be happy about that. Right. So, like, so here's what I'm thinking through. Um, if I keep CNO, Alan's probably going to trash it. Uh, and if Alan trashes it, Biendo has first dibs on trains. Boston and Maine has second. CNO has like fourth after PRR. Why does BNO have first over? Because uh, BNO got to that spot first, so it's going to take its turn ah. first. Um, which means CNO has a decent chance of getting the poison four. I don't think it's going to get. Uh, the poison four could punch it straight through to the five. That's not terrible. Um, I may have just talked myself into keeping it. I was going to say, I don't know in what world dumping a company with $1,000 in its treasury is a good idea, but I would be very pleased if you did. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just pass. Okay. Hi, I wonder what I'm doing, guys. <laughs> Lily? Um, Time to trash oh. Boston and Maine? <laughs> mm, no. No, I think, I think everyone's... I'm, I'm quite happy with this. Uh, <laughs> nice. I will grab another NYNH. Uh, will I? Actually, wait, no. No, no, no. Oop. I'm gonna flip it in a million ways. Uh, I'm gonna buy a PRR, actually. Have you not sold PRR this turn? Nope. Okay. Only the BNO and CNO is what we established earlier. Because I didn't have anything. I did not have PR going into this. Alan? All right. Okay. I'm gonna do the very blatantly <laughs> obvious thing. Are you gonna buy one first? Yeah. Yep. I figured. One, two, three, yeah. four. I'm an equal opportunity gremlin. Um, I'm going to go ahead and buy one then. Or whatever it is now, 60 or something. Uh, Yeah, 60. Me. Pass. Do I want to actually? Maybe I don't. No, I'm gonna hold on to my cash. Uh, is it me? Yes. Um. These are fun, ridiculous stock prices. Uh. This is how it should I be. I will. Yes. I'll buy, uh, I'm gonna buy B and, uh, Boston and Maine. Okay. Alan? Uh, let me see. Sold that, sold that, sold that. 
I will. I'm going to buy a PRR for 68. I'm going to pass. Well, fuck. Wow, you, you haven't sold a PRR this round, Alan? Nope. It's been on a ledge. I didn't have a reason to. I'm going to sell there. that to drop it into brown. Ooh. To buy a boss in Maine. Ooh. Uh, I want to point out that, that Lily can... No, you can, but I want to point out that Lily can now buy as much NYNH as she wants. Which is only but... two more? Oh, okay, yeah, it's only two. That's... That's still a good get for Lily, but it's not like that's horrendous. fine. But otherwise, she was risking taking Boston and Maine off of me too. <laughs> I will. Uh, yeah, no, I'll, I'll, I'll take those both. Thank you. Sixty-seven. I will buy another PRR for sixty-eight. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing, Marco, so, like, you can critique me all you want, but don't expect good play. <laughs> Alright, I pass. Alright. Hey. I'm... Debating. It yes, that is my name. Um, no, I meant like presuming. I'm assuming Billy's passing. Yeah, I'm not doing anything else. Okay, Campax not sold out, which is sad. Could we? Can it? You know, I'll still buy one. I'll buy the last PRR share from the bank pool. Oh, wrong way. All right. I don't know why I'm making that mistake a lot tonight. We'll just put an asterisk next to your win. Uh, mm. I will <laughs> pass. Oh, this, is, this is not going to end in a win. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Interesting. What? I'm just surprised you're passing. Well, what am I going to buy? Cam pack. What, from the IPO? Yeah. One left. Mm, I guess it's fair. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess you're right. I lose how much for that? 31? Yeah. Uh, how much do I think you're running for? How much did you run for before? Seven? Resume that twice. And I get the money back. Yeah, it's worth it. You're right. You're right. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I am well aware that I am correct, sir. Uh, I just don't like being told what to do. Then don't do it. No, it's good. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, I, um, I'm assuming Billy's passing, so I'm going to buy another share of Boston and Maine. Alan? All right, I will buy a PRR from the IPO for, what, 75? 76. Uh, yep. Hmm. 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 Are you considering dumping PRR on me? 
Uh, no, I already considered that. I think... <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. I'll dump two shares of C and O to buy a share of PRR in the IPO. Mm -hmm. Nice. C and O is officially a briefcase company. Uh, selling at sixty. Oh, <laughs> it's at forty. Oh my god. Spending. Oh, this is great. I don't think I've ever seen a company go from a hundred to forty in one SR. <laughs> It's uh, uh, it's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. You sound like you're laughing so hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my turn is done. Uh, Billy probably passing. Billy probably passing. Alan. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can't afford anything that I can actually buy. Uh, un unfortunately, uh, I've already sold everything. So. Uh, yeah, I'm passing. Okay, PD is going to end up with Billy at the end. What's going to rise up? Uh, not B&O, not C&O, not Boston and Maine. PRR will rise up. CanPack will rise up. Uh, NYNH will rise up. Okay. Into the set. Privates pay. And first up is going to be PRR. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Calculated. Calculated <laughs> that it happened this way. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Um, it just has the one three train. Oh, that's right. It's two train got rusted. Yeah. Oh, God, that was like an hour ago. I know. I know. <laughs> did, you, did you think this game was about running trains? Because it's not. No, the, I did not. This think might that. be the that might have been the longest stock run I've ever taken part in. We got to play 1828 one of these days. I've heard that it has like two hour SR threes or SR fives or something. Uh, I think we're really, really uh, keeping Billy engaged here. Yeah, I'm so sorry, <laughs> Billy. It's fine. That's what I have Discord for. It's up to 30. I promise this game's fun. <laughs> it's fine. It's just there is a massive power, like, void. Uh, running for 80. Paying out. Yeah. It I I don't think it's as bad as it seems. If I'm uh... yeah, in in a standard in a standard game, like I would have just run can pack normally, and none of this would have happened. Um, I think that Garrick is lined up well, but I don't think it's a guaranteed thing. No, it is not guaranteed. Anyway, PRR is but... done, so B and O is up. Yeah. That's part of the reason I went to so much effort to trash C&O. <sighs> <Okay. laughs> oh, Mike, that is the best. <laughs> 1828 is a blast. I once spent almost an hour passing my turn in the stock round. That is All right. Uh, B&O, unable to run, <laughs> falls back. Is forced to buy a train. Uh, has to emergency buy a four train for three hundred dollars. Uh, starting with my personal cash, I have eighty nine. All right. So I still need two hundred and eleven dollars. Uh, I can sell a can pack. For fifty, and I can sell the PRRs for seventy. 
So unfortunately, three PRRs doesn't quite make, get me where I need. Um, so I think it's three PRRs and the can pack. But I can't sell the B&O because there's already five. All right. So it's going to be that and that. So minus 50, minus 210. I should end up with $49 in treasury. I dropped can pack for you. Thanks. And I am firmly in last place. Beautiful. Hey, at I've least achieved my goal. At least it wasn't the poison four you bought. Oh, that matters so much right now. <laughs> <laughs> what is the poison four? The last four? The last yes. four. Typically, you don't want to be the person who's purchasing the last four and not also purchasing a five or something like that. Uh, ah. Because that means you're okay. basically just like, you know, you're, you're opening the fives up for somebody else without taking advantage of them. Uh, and then, yes, okay. B and M is up. All right, so layer upgrade track. I am going to lay this track right here and spend 80 to do so. Oh, uh, What's sorry, up? I should have laid this. Oh, yeah, you had a turn. Good lay track, yeah. Yeah, I would be very silly to not do that. Yes, so. and I would be very annoyed if you didn't do that because I, I want that 50 in my route. <laughs> <laughs> um, it can't run, so it will go back one. It is going... It's not going to... It's going to buy one four for 300. And... Can, can I sell these two as well to it? The privates, like, no. Can I sell these privates? No. Okay. No, privates, privates cannot be but, uh, bought from, um, from companies. I should mention, you can purchase the train from New York, New Haven for as much money as you, as the company has. So you could purchase that three train for $620 if you wanted to. I know. Okay, just want to make sure. But don't want to. Yep. Uh, is B&M all done? Yes, B&M is all done. All right, the C and O is up. Oh no, it has to buy a poisonous four train. Hey, you don't know. Maybe I'll buy the three over from PR. <laughs> Is it because it's farthest roll, to the right roll. that it goes? Uh, yes. I'm just trying to make sure. Yep. Okay. Farther to the right. So this will go last. Correct. Got it. Yep. Um. Yeah, I can't pack's in a good spot. Yep. Weird, right? Kempak is the best company. <laughs> I love it. This game's been a hoot. A hoot and a half. Um, a hoot nanny. Yeah, you could say that. Part of me wonders if I should lay some dud track, just if I ever do get connected up. Like head toward Chicago or something? Yeah, just just make it within spitting distance. I mean, the only company that is likely to do that is uh, PRR. Though I suppose B&O could do it once I get connected. Yeah, that's my thought. Like, maybe one day down the line, B&O feels like doing it. I don't know. It's, it's, this, it's a super unimportant decision at this moment uh anyway falls to the left or, or scoots to the left you know uh because it fails to run and then we're gonna purchase
It's an interesting position. It's an interesting position. We'll buy the poison four, of course. Of course. And if you're gonna buy a poison four, you might as well buy. I might as well buy the five. five. Yeah. Part of me wonders if I should like slow roll a little bit, but I think it's probably just me being overly cautious for no reason. Uh, so I'm just gonna yeah, channel my like... my inner uh, not Tars case. Say it's no time for caution. I feel like if you can get a five, you should take it. Yeah, I think so pretty, too. Pretty pretty universally. Yeah. All right, C and O is done. Can pack is up. All right. Uh, Campac needs to lose one of its trains. Oh yeah, we're down to two now, aren't we? And privates, mm -hmm. are, privates are dead. There's a so privates are completely dead, like they don't work anymore. Yep, just throw them mm. in the trash. Oh, all right. Well, is there a trash can, or can I just nah? I just toss. We them just up there. toss them up there. Yeah. Okay. If the pirate cannon weren't so terrible, I would shoot them out of the cannon. We can, in fact, lay brown, Mike. That is true. We are in brown. We did it. We're in brown, brown town. Town. <laughs> Rolo Tony Brown Town. Please, please don't. Anyway, uh, so that uh, increases my route by 80 plus the 10 from the maritime provinces. So that's an increase of 90. That's how math works. Good. Yep. I do recommend following math when you play this game. No. No. No, 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 no. We do not follow math here. Anyway, I'll pay out. Okay. Anything else? Nope. NY and H. All right. So that's going to get popped right there as the track. Uh, purchase the station. I will purchase the station over here for 40. What am I doing? Money. All right. Uh, run trains. So this one's going to go here for 90 and then 130. Not that so I that's... doubt your vision, but I don't think this token actually helps you. I think that's called doubting his vision, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's fine. Doesn't matter to me. I don't care. That's okay. I just wanted to point um, it. Actually, no, you're right. That doesn't do anything good for me, so I don't want to buy that. I'm just going to keep this here and take my 40 bucks back. It's uh, more just because NYNH only has one extra token, so... Yeah, that's right. You don't want to... Also, I can't do any more fun things with Boston, then. Um, so that's 90 and then 130, so that's 210, so that's 21. Um, and I will pay it out. Isn't that two twenty? Is it? Yeah, it's two twenty. So an additional ten. Here you go. There you go. Everyone gets paid. I want my one dollar. <laughs> yeah, I gave you your dollar. <laughs> buy trains. It's gonna buy this. I can. It can buy it for literally whatever, right? Uh, it could uh, if you were not. Train locked, which you are because I purchased oh. the five, so now the train limit is two. Oh, that's fair. Okay, that's fun. Um, oh no, I'm concerned. Chat has reminded Lily that she has a sword. Lily has a sword, that's scary. 
don't know. Um, uh, this goes up to 50. Because <laughs> I paid out. Uh, it goes or over. No, it goes to the 50. right. Yeah. yeah. So it goes to 50 yep. there. That's fun. Um, that's it. Not okay. Purchasing any trains. Uh, we move on to the next OR. Privates are dead, so they don't pay anymore. First up is PRR. Uh, PRR is going to go ahead and lay the ooh. I don't know which one yet, so this is going to take a minute. Uh, nope, not that one. Uh, maybe. That's an option. Uh, that's interesting in its own right. It's interesting. Uh, uh, definitely not. Definitely not. This is interesting. I don't think it's what I want. I I, I feel like that helps BNO. I think I want this one. I mean, BNO has no money to lay that eighty dollar track, but sure. It that's fair. I don't. I just don't see a long term value for me in doing it yeah. unless we're somehow gonna. No, I don't. I don't see it working out. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, uh, we're laying that track. We are uh, not tokening I don't have money. So we will just run uh, with my single three train for... Oh, uh, so sad. Um, <laughs> 13, it looks like, is the best I can do. Pays out. Oh, it still doesn't give me enough to token. Don't like that. It's okay, I'm not. I'm in a little danger. This is the second OR. Uh, I'd rather pay out. Get the cash going into the SR. Okay, um, we will purchase over, whoa, that's a lightning bug in my office. Uh, we are going to purchase over, buddy, leave me alone. That is not leaving me alone. Uh, this five from the PR, Ooh, from the C and O to the PRR. Yep. Yep. Gonna leave it at that. Uh, PRR is done. BNO is up. Okay. Um. Hmm. I think I do. I think I connect that way, but I hate everything about it. <laughs> Well, if I connect to that, Is here forty ninety twelve versus seventy twelve eighteen? No, I can't leave any money on the table right now. Shame. Okay, so I can run for 15, I believe. Yeah, get out of here. 
This stupid cat. Okay. Paying out. Uh, Marcos, we play from the bottom up, which is like the opposite of everyone else, I believe. I don't know. In my mind, if you get there first, you're on the bottom. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm not able to do anything else. Boston and Maine. Hmm. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, just uh, mentioning NY is available since we're in brown. Totally fine to do whatever you want to do. Just, just mentioning it's available. Yep. Yep. So it costs 80 more because it's still on 80, right? Like I still have to pay the terrain p price? Uh, no, no, it was yellow, no. wasn't it? Yeah, you're Oh, wait, you're fine. no, 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 no. Yeah, you don't. You don't have to pay anything for that. Yep. Sorry, I, there's, I think there is a version that has the 80 printed on the green tile. I think it's, what, 67? 89 cool. no. 89 has something no, it, like that uh no yeah it is 89 that i'm thinking yeah it is 89 about. okay so i'm gonna buy this for 600 or i have to run trains then purchase trains correct yeah so i'm gonna run the four so it's 30 40 70 80 so it's eight you got money in boss yeah so do you want uh do you want me to mention the reason why you would want to upgrade New York? I can't get there yet. You can token it when you upgrade it. And then you can run from there. Yep. Which also prevents somebody else from tokening it and blocking B and M in. Depending on what Actually, you too, the other reason you would want to token it is because then instead of having to start over here, you can start here. Right, that's what I was saying. You can, you can run, run from New York. Yes, yeah, so you can, with if you do that, you get a run of 17 plus 50 is 24? No, that's not how math works. 22. <laughs> not how math works. <laughs> so that. And then you token and I it. Spend the 40 to put this in there. Whichever spot you want. There's reasons for both. But this, I personally agree with your choice, though. Yeah, uh, what this does is it blocks can pack from getting in yet. Uh, it has to upgrade this and come into the other side. Uh, and it blocks PRR from going out this side. And there's, there's reasons for it. Okay. So, 80. Technically, I could run 50... 130, mm -hmm. 140, 150, right? Uh, it's a uh, four no. train, isn't so it? So you're actually, you're actually running New York twice. So you get 160 plus the 10 and the 50 is 22. Yeah. No, that's One, two, right, three, you. four. And that's why I mentioned you could upgrade it. it. It it also serves me because I'm hitting New York, but I think that run justifies it for you. Yep. Awesome. I'm not paying it out. I'm putting it into the treasury. Going for that I diesel. Moved already. Okay. You moved me already. Thank you. Yeah, I did. Can pack is up. Hold up. I'm not oh. done yet. I got to buy trains and stuff. Oh, yeah, you can buy trains. You're right. Oh, yeah, buy a five. Might as well. <sighs> Marcos, I try to be a little helpful and not just self-serving. Don't listen to him, Marcos. He's only self-serving. God, I always forget how many companies there are in this game. I'm used to smaller games with only five or six. Yeah, it's right it's weird. That's a pretty good one, Marcos. No, sorry, Crewmeister. 
Uh, you're all done, Billy? Mm hmm. Can okay. pack. Can pack. They don't call it the can't pack. Do the thing that's obvious. Yep. Lay the bot left. Tokening it's and funny, what? It's uh, funny. Uh, when, before he upgraded it, this still was my plan, just because then I'd have to block you in because it'd be funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, now I got to figure out how to run this the best. I think I just do the fun run and then accept my little baby 70 from up top. Okay, so that's 220 plus the 70, so that's 290. Right? Sure. Why not? Makes sense to me. Yeah, okay. Granted, I was only half listening. And we will but... be paying out. That's fine. You don't have to pay attention to me. I don't really matter. That is categorically untrue. <laughs> <laughs> you matter a lot. I appreciate it, Alan. Of course. In the words of Superman, everything matters. Everybody matters. Nah, but specifically Lily, though. That's true. That's true. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, that's... Yeah, I was about to be like, that's untrue, but okay. I'm glad, I'm glad you're kidding. That makes it better. Is camp pack done? Oh, yeah, camp pack's been done. Okay, NYNH. Do, 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 do. All right, so upgrade track. Is this even upgradable? It is not. Didn't think so. And that's why it was so important to get this here. That that specific tile there, because it was the only way to get it there. You had, you had to get it there before anybody else used that a different tra track tile there or use that track tile somewhere else. And it can't be upgraded to add the route you want in the future. Yep, that's fair. Thank you for letting me have this. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, we were all yeah, busy with other stuff. Like you I'm, just it just worked out for you. I right? mean, I'm not going to I'm not going to lie. If the three trains never get rusted, you mm, not just might, you probably win. Yeah, you're in a good spot right now, Billy. I know it feels mm -hmm. like shit cuz you were like sitting there not doing anything during the stock round, but you are heavily invested in what is currently probably the best company. Um, all right, so that's 170 for this run, plus another 80, 90, 120. So that's 290, so 29. Double check my math. I can do calculus in my head, not arithmetic. Running a three and a three. Yeah, so the three goes here, and then the three goes up that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 290. 17. Calculator confirms. 290? All right. 290. Um, this one will pay out. Yeah, I'm really sad I had to sell all those NYNH shares. The only reason I started stock dumping in the last SR is because I was going to have to sell them all anyways. That's fair. No, it, it made and sense. I'm not, and then I'm not buying any trains. Okay. Uh, I've adjusted your share price. C&O is up. C&O is not going to lay any track. Unsurprisingly, it's going to fail to run and move over. Uh, it is going to... Purchase the three train from PRR for $250. And I think that's its turn. Uh, okay, into the stock ground we go. Priority deal is on Billy.
spend 58 to buy this. Interesting. Oh, wait, no, not interesting. That one makes sense. <laughs> uh, I'm sad because I can't buy cam pack. I'm sad because I'm not going to get a chance to buy cam pack. No, that's going to go to Alan. Um... You mean the one that I sold? Yeah. <laughs> I will. Oops, that's not a 78. And I'm doing everything in the wrong place. I will be buying PR. It's a Radiohead song, isn't it? Everything in its wrong place? I don't know. It's a, it's a joke. The song is Everything in its Right Place. Ah, uh, yes. Cool. Anyway, I'm done. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, I could buy Camp Pack. Or I'm going to buy five shares of CNO. <laughs> I thought about doing that. I thought about being like, you know what? I want to control this bitch. <laughs> Uh, so I'll take that. Fair enough. Thank you. I mean, we'll see. If the four trains never get rusted, probably goodbye. Important question, Alan. Would you like to purchase an additional CNO share from the IPO? I cannot. I have $7. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I could have uh Oh, it's $100. No. Uh, um Well, you can buy that camp pack share now, Garrick. It's true. Uh I'm I'm debating which is better to get the can pack or the PRR. See, guys, this is totally going to play out because I have two president shares. That's that's worth something, right? <laughs> that chair is going to rest harder than the teachers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, beautiful. Um, yeah, well, I'm I'm just going to dump my three CNOs, I think. Beautiful. I don't <laughs> see a reason to hold on to them. I don't know. Maybe I'll keep one of them just because. No reason not to keep one. Uh, so that's 20. Um, I think the PRR is the play. Five, six. Yeah, I get that sixth one uh, for 75. Why is this three up here? Uh, so that is... Available a, for purchase. It's a weird... By a company. It's a weird rule. <laughs> if a train... If a company has more trains than the train limit, uh, the excess trains go to the bank pool. Uh, and it's this weird thing where they're available to purchase. And I'm fairly certain... If you go to emergency money raising and it's the cheapest one available, you must purchase it. But y'all keep saying that's not true, and I don't think that's right. No, that's true. Yeah. When did I say that? Like, the last time we played this? Anyway, it's, uh, I, I took my turn. I'm done. You're up, Billy. I'm gonna pass. Okay. Uh, okay. I, mean, I keep threatening to buy it as a private investor and just drive it around. But <laughs> okay, I'm the PR. Alan's rocket. I'm on pass. All right, I'm buying that can pack then. Beautiful. Look how that worked out. Still gonna sixteen. Still gonna pass. Yeah, I guess I could have sold three of the uh, CNO shares, but defeats the purpose of buying them all. It's fair. Mm -hmm. Lily. I'll buy a BNO.
Alan, passing? I'm on pass. Okay. Uh, I will buy a BNDO for, what are they, 67? That's correct. I'm going to pass again. Okay. I'm just on universal pass unless something weird happens. Okay. Uh, I'll buy another BNO. As will I. I'll buy the last BNO. Okay. I'll buy both the C and the. <laughs> <laughs> To the moon, Lily. The moon. <laughs> um. I love uh... how the bank pool went from very full to completely empty. <laughs> <laughs> no one hears it limit at all are they i know there's a bunch of stuff not in limit oh wait no there's so much stuff not in limit yeah it's limit <laughs> limit this is a game where limits don't for matter. show <laughs> how much is it running for two that's pretty good it's pretty good Are you considering the Boston domains? Yeah. I think I'll do it. It gets its money back, I think. For one hundo. I'm going to pass again. Lily? Um. Yeah, I will as well. Oh, wait. What's that? No, we're good. Okay. For a second, I thought Billy still had 70% of um, NYH, but we're good. We're good. Nope, I have 60. Yep. I got rid of it. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. so I'm assuming Alan is passing again. Wait a second. I'm passing. I'm also going to buy one Boston and Maine. Uh, yep. Yeah, I was going to say I only had 50%. I was just triple checking. I'm out. Yep. Can't believe no one ever part NYC. NYC is a very interesting company. If this diverts the wrong way, yeah, and mm. this diverts the wrong way, it just becomes like stranded. Well, I feel like yeah, essentially I just used it for a free sixty bucks. <laughs> I feel like NYC. It comes down to NYC or Boston and Maine. One can be good, and the other is bad. Yeah, that's fair. Which makes them both really dangerous to par early. <laughs> okay. Uh, end of the stock round. Uh, uh, Boston and Maine is going to rise up one. PRR is going to rise up one. CanPAC is going to rise up one. NYNH is yeah, going to rise up one. That one PRR share I've got is going to carry me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nice. We have a full set. O R three of or one of three starting with P R R. Uh P R R what you gonna do? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. We'll go ahead and upgrade this because we are hitting it. And we want that value. Uh one, two, three, four, five. Sure. Uh then we're gonna go ahead and token. New York. I never saw it coming. For 100. Oof. Oof. Uh, and I think I'm done making decisions for the rest of the game. <laughs> uh, running for 250, it looks like. We will rock you. <laughs> I 
I'm kind of tempted to withhold and buy a five. See, then you have to start making decisions again. So I think if I just sit here, I'm going to lose because I'm just going to slowly make less than other people. Um, if I do this, I get another permanent, which makes other people spend more money. And like one of the trains only gets to run for four, but the other one gets me money. Eh, screw it. We'll do it. Uh, I'll withhold and then buy the five train for 450. Okay. Let's not spend that much money. There we go. No. There we go. I've been doing it too tonight, Alan, for the, for the record. Solidarity. Ah, yes. Two cheaters. <laughs> well. uh, PRR is done. True to life, cheaters are not prospering. <laughs> so is it B and O next? It is B and O next. Yeah, double fives in one company is so gross. <laughs> no, Marcos, I maintained their order. Canpack was on the bottom. Mm-hmm. Tell us about your BO, Alan. Oh, it's me. Sorry. <laughs> um, also rude. <laughs> oh, I got it. Okay, so I think it's just going to be 50, 30, 60, 30. So 80 plus 90 is 17. It's not a huge change. It moves to the right, and then it's going to buy over this three train for a dollar. And that's its turn. So next, it's can pack. Um. Yep. Did you pay out or withhold? Sorry, I wasn't listening. Oh, I, I uh, paid out. Okay. Can pack's going this way. <laughs> uh, run stays the same. I'll withhold. Does it get you a train? Yeah, it does. No. No, it doesn't? No. Oh, your train locked. That's why it doesn't get you a train. I mean, if someone buys a six, then it definitely it would get me a train. But no, I'm, I'm more looking at where I want to stay in terms of color. It's fair. So I have to make that decision, which is annoying, but I'll do it. Can pack done? Camp pack done. N Y N H. So I don't think it's upgrading anything. To be completely honest, I don't think it's worth it to upgrade anything. Uh, you could upgrade the B for Boston and Maine, and then Boston and Maine could take it to Brown. That's a good point. Yeah, it'll upgrade that. Um, its runs are staying the same because it's two, three trains. Yep. So it is not paying out, though. I have moved you to the left. Thank you. All done? Yep. Okay. Uh, Boston and Maine. No, it is Boston and Maine. All right, cool. Um, so, yeah, it's going to upgrade that, too. <laughs> Well, it can't do that, because then it's going to run it off. No, you can rotate that. 
there's other configurations that are legal. That's legal, or the... Oh, that's legal. Yeah, that's fine. Or this one, if you want it. Mm. Yeah, that's fine. Because then it's got a 5 train that, if I count to 60... So the 4 train can do this, right? Just for 70? To there? Uh, to there? Let me... Feels like you should run one, two, three, and one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you got a five and a four. You double hit New York. I guarantee you that's your best run. That's 170, and then 80, 90, 17, 25, 26. 29, 30, 36. Damn. It's a good run. I wish I had more shares. <laughs> uh, that goes over to here. Okal doko. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Uh, C and O. All right. Hey, you made it. Get him. <laughs> uh, just run for a hundred. <laughs> I made fifty bucks. Paying out. Wow. Yeah. I guess I should have held on to my shares. <laughs> okay, that is our operating round. We do it two more times. Uh, first up is the PRR once again. Uh, PRR is going to... Um, upgrade this to brown. I should have mathed this because I know what my route is. Uh, for the record, what we're running is one, two, th three, four, five, and one, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, so let me just type that into my calculator. Uh, 390. There we go. Feel good about that. Paying out, moving to the right. PRR is done. Next up is B and O. Right. Uh, B and O. Really, really wishes it had a few extra bucks to lay that tile. <laughs> it's real sad. Uh, but that's okay. Just you know, I instead. I honestly wish you did too. <laughs> uh, so we'll just lay that. Well, shit. I need the money though. It gets me an extra. Th well, shit. It's literally an extra three dollars if I upgrade that tile. Yeah. Nah, we're not gonna bother. Uh, so we'll just do that. Um, and the run improves because I have a three train now. Um, so I can run deep south to here, to here, into here, and then run those three. Yeah. So I actually can run the 40 and the 60 twice, which is nice. You're welcome. Yeah. All right, so uh 4 7 13 17 and then 23 27 uh 32. 
not bad. I have no idea how in the hell I'm running better than Campac, but okay. Uh, hmm. Nah. There's no point in doing that, so we're just going to pay out. And move to the right. All done? Okay. Yep. Boston and Maine. Really? I'm thinking. Okay. okay. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm thinking. Um... <laughs> Now you might be out of track, Liz. Me? <laughs> Boston and Maine, yeah. I don't know where you I mean, you'd... I could go up to the Maritimes if I wanted to. You have 120 bucks? Ah, I guess you do. I guess you do. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Marcos, we got an open train slot somewhere. Yeah, C&O's got an open slot. Uh, oh, that's the only one. Oh, my. Guys, there's two unpard. Yeah, that's like there's two companies that we have not touched. No wonder this feels like a winsome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lay any sort of track because it's just not worth it to me. All right, so I'm just gonna run it again. It's the same thing. Pay it out. And then move myself over. All right, uh, can pack. Hey, CJ. Oops. Place that there. Uh, the run has not changed, so I will. Uh, I'm gonna pay out this time. Yeah, I'm so glad I didn't uh, invest in that camp pack share. But look, it's the sign I'm of the beast. The this is clearly <laughs> this is clearly a winning bank pool right here. Can right, done. New York time. Yeah, I think so. Can pack done. All right, same thing. Just not laying anything, paying out. Yeah, all the decisions. C and O. Uh, C and O still has decisions. So we'll do that. And that increases the run by 30, I believe. Oh, yeah. We're going up in the world. And paying out. I unironically think that selling those two CNO shares could have been disastrous for me. OK, we do it one more time. Starting with the PRR, who is going to upgrade this to a green. Uh, I don't have strong feelings about which one. Sure, sure. Uh, and then we're going to run the same thing as last time, plus the 10 for the upgrade. Uh, do, do, do. So 40 even. Paying out. PRR is done. B and O. Okay. Um, B and O will do something of relevance. I also like to lie to myself. <laughs> 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 uh, we're gonna lay this this guy over here. Cool. You know what? I'll take it. Oh, I'm a fool. Oh well. What? I I could have been a. Oh wait, no, never mind. I'm not a fool. I lied. I'm tr I'm tricking myself. Okay. Uh, Bino's run does not change. Bino pays out. 
Uh, BNO is done. Boston and Maine. The main man. Doesn't really, nothing really changes for me. Yeah. The deeper into like, 30's endgame you get, the fewer decisions there are. Uh, and yep. it's, at some point we just auto run it, but we're not there yet. Okay, uh, can pack. Doop to doop to doop. Yep. Yep. Uh, my run does not change, uh, but I will hold. NYNH. Literally nothing changes. I feel like Lily's getting ready for a train rush. Uh, I, I think so too. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, C and O. Okay, so C and O. Wishes it had money. As always. God, I wish I'd kept those C and O shares. I think... Marcos, Lily withheld because she wanted to keep Canpac in the yellow. Uh, yeah, right now I am over share limit because share limit is 16 and I'm at 18. So if I let Canpac go out of yellow, I will have to sell stuff. Yeah. Okay. Does not actually... Well, uh, this was not a 40 before, so I think my run goes up by 20. Okay. So I will pay out. And then... Yep. I'm going to move this over here. For one dollar. Okay, uh, we are into a stock round with priority deal on Lily. Lily, lay it on us. I'm parring Fury. Yes, if you that are. That wasn't really obvious. <laughs> Alan. Are there never purple companies? I want there to be purple companies. Then I can make a rainbow. Well, BNO is kind of purple. Uh, 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 hey, Garrick. What's up? You're you're the new president of BNO. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I probably should. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Uh, so that's going to be 240. Uh, and I... Go ahead. Something wrong? No, go ahead. Hey, you know what? I'm actually only going to sell... Uh... I'm only going to sell two of those. I'm going to keep one. Uh, and then, uh oh, no, nope. rip Lily. Um, I win by default. <laughs> oh, what? Why did I disconnect? <laughs> I have no clue. It's funny because I'm... I'm not disconnected on my side. <laughs> Barring N Y N H. I N Y N C. N -C. N -C. One of those yep. words. Some combination of those letters. 
Uh, Eerie was there first. Yeah. Oh, do I want to keep Biendo? Well, it is $75 and a three train. <laughs> so appealing. <laughs> I mean, I'll take it back. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I gotta, I gotta. Do I gotta? Maybe I don't gotta. No, I gotta. Are you second guessing just because of the CNO thing earlier? No, no, I, I just uh, like. I, I, I'm worried I'm gonna end up in the same position I end up in every game where like I do well but I don't win because like I, I had a strong like early game and then I leverage myself into a, a safe end game position that doesn't get me as much money as I need. You know what I mean? So I'm just, I'm just, that's like the thing that's on my mind playing 18xx lately is trying to avoid that. And I'm worried dumping the BNO is like the safe thing, but also that three train is just. Well, I mean, you, you could spread your five train across yeah, you have two. You, you have two perma trains, so you're not really in much risk. Yeah, it not keeping it. BNO runs for worse. Well, BNO's run is going to be worse because it was running with a with two trains before. Like you've locked it out of New York, so the best run it's got is from the deep south to the ooh. Maybe I do keep it. Invest in it. So, what determines the victory? Because that actually is never explained. <laughs> Whoever has the most money between cash on hand and share values. Okay. Yeah. Which is why Lily's current position is rather dangerous. Yeah. Would, and and actually, I think. Dumping BNO is not the safe option. I think it's the I think it's the option that puts Lily in yeah. the more precarious position as the clear front runner at the moment. Yeah, it's that question of is it better for me to invest in it and ride the share value uh, into the end game, or is it better for me to dump it on Lily for the liability? Right now, Lily is uh not really on the hook for anything cuz Kenpack has almost got enough money for its permanent train already um and Erie's going to start with the money it needs to buy a permanent train so it's awkward Yeah, I'm not quite sure. Like Erie opens, probably buys a six train. Yeah, between the two companies, she'll have enough for a six and a diesel. So. Yeah, but the question is, is it better to force her to separate them or something? Well, she's already laid the tile location for Erie, so she's forced to buy a train. So yeah. if you if you force her to have to keep trains in three companies, she's gonna have to buy a second diesel. At at cost. I suppose she does have a four train she could upgrade, but eh. uh that's fair, Marcos. Erie has not chosen the starting position yet. So Erie could be suitcased. Oh, that's fair. Actually, no, I, I think it's when the company floats. Is yeah, when it you is. Place the home token. Yeah. This is tough. 
This is tough. This is one of those moments where I wish I could play it out both ways. Sorry, I keep doing shenanigans that make the game go longer. Decisions are good. Yeah, I think I dump it. I, I think I dump it. Uh, um. Oh yeah, I did that wrong. One of these should be in the. Thank you. I got you. Uh, it's got a value of eighty. There you go. I think the liability is going to hurt her. We'll see. I'm going to dump this just because I don't want any risk on it. Oh, I was actually uh, going to... I, I could you're, you're safe with just one. Yeah, you're safe with one. Uh, and I was oh, probably going to... She can't throw it onto me? She cannot. Okay. Oh, you can buy. Sorry. I yeah, no worries. Um, I'm not buying a C&O. And I can't buy a B&O because I just sold one. Lovely. Well, while I wouldn't complain about you buying CNO, it, the run is not there yet. It will, it'll get there, but it's not there yet. I'm, I'm not buying a second CNO. Is the thing. Um. No, it's it's fine. I'll pass. I'll come back around on my. Uh, if I want to get something, I'll come back around to it. Okay. Billy. I'm also going to pass. Huh. Okay. I'm buying an NYC. Me too. Um, I'll go ahead and buy an NYC now. NYC train. Actually, am I? Uh, now that there's more companies not in the yellow, uh, I'm okay. How are people doing? Okay, just checking. <laughs> yeah, she's got essentially an effective limit of 13. Because she, or. They're not. Four, no. Because yeah. you've got five reds, right? And how many Wait. CNO? Oh, you got two Oops. CNO, too. Never mind. I thought I the cert limit was 16. It is 16. You're good. Yeah, so my, my cert limit is effectively 21. Yep. Oh, wait, no. Okay. You have no, seven. no, I, no, and then and then sorry, sorry, my certain limits 23 because I've got the CNOs. That's what yes. it is. I was like, something's wrong with my math. Uh, Garrick, what uh, Garrick, you bought a NYC, yep. yeah. Uh, Bitly, what are you doing? I'm going to I'm gonna pass again. Okay, Lily. I'll buy another NYC. It floats. Alan? So is there a special tile for it or NYC? No. Yeah. It's it's pretty boring. It just oh. gets just a normal a, city. It's just a normal dude. Oh, that's mm -hmm. fun. Um let me just see. I think I will. I will buy an Erie for a hundred. You done? Yep, I bought one. Uh, I'll buy an NYC and then dump my two. Yep. Billy. I'm going to pass again. Lily? I'll buy an Erie. Yeah. I will also buy an Erie.
Ähm I'll just buy and dump an eerie. That floats it. Billy? Thank you, Marcos. I'm going to pass. Okay. Lily. I will buy NYC from the bank pool. Okay. I will also buy an NYC from the bank pool for 82. I'll pass. I'm going to buy the Eerie from the bank pool for 90. I am going to buy another NYC and then I will sell for. Yep. Not particularly surprised by that. Um... <laughs> Oops, wait, no, that's the wrong way. <laughs> One, two, three, four. There we go. <laughs> Jader. <laughs> well, to be fair, I was selling it first, so I was making myself in a worse position. Here. I'm passing. Really? Man, you're going to trash NYC, but not Eerie. I trashed Eerie by one step. He, he already sold Eerie. Oh, yeah. just a single step, fine. I'm going to buy Eerie and then trash both of them. Yeah. See, there you go. That's that's a true gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry I wasn't good enough for you, Alan. <laughs> I'm going to buy one of those Eerie. All right. Um, I will buy a bank pool Eerie and then sell four. I feel like there was a bigger coordinated attack on me than there was on a. Uh, what did that start at? 76? 76. Yeah, yeah. 76 was okay. the. Okay. So is that and... just get three 76s? You couldn't have dropped it one more. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, that would have been beautiful. Uh, I'm on pass. Uh, Billy? I'm gonna take a risk. Oh? Buy a CNL. Oh. A okay. single one is always safe. Yeah. Uh, I will buy Eerie from the bank pool. I'm going to buy the other CNO for a hundred. <laughs> That's good because if you didn't, I was going to. Uh -huh. You could have bought both of them at the same time. Oh wait, no, never mind. No, Sorry. I couldn't. Wrong, they're not, not brown. Yeah, not brown anymore. My All brain's right. still working a little bit. I pass. I pass. Lily. Uh, sorry. I'm uh. Trying to remember what I'm doing. I'll buy another one of the. Uh, Aren't you at limit? Shares. No. I thought you said 21 was your I limit. I said 23 is 23 mm. is my limit, sir. Gotcha. Okay. I think. 
Man, maybe I should have kept one of the Eeries. Oh well. Yeah, I definitely should have kept at least one of the Eeries on hand. Oh well. I believe I'm passing because there's nothing else I can buy. I guess I could buy more NYC, but not doing that. I pass. Billy? Billy said he's on pass. He had to go step away. Gotcha. Okay, I'm going to sell an Eerie. <laughs> <laughs> Can't buy it, though. That's okay. Now they don't count. <laughs> so you're going to buy a bunch of B&O? Yep. That seems like the logical thing to do. Uh, so I'm going to buy... I'm going to start actually by buying from the IPO. Uh, I'm, pretty sure all these... I'm pretty sure it's on you, Lily. Sweet. Yeah. I wonder at what point does withholding to keep your stuff in the yellow start hurting you more than helping you? I don't know. I, I'm just having I fun at this point. I don't actually I, know if this is a good decision or not, but I like it. No, I think it's I think it's interesting for sure. I just I all right. I have a stupid like, amount of shares. I've done it. <laughs> like I feel like we definitely have another SR in this game after the OR set. Yeah. No, we definitely have yeah. another SR. We do. Yeah. And I'm probably oh. am going to not have stuff in the yellow at that point, but We'll see. It'll be great for me because I'll be able to buy some stuff. <laughs> okay, so PD is going to go to Alan at the end. Uh, BNO does not rise. CNO does. Hey. Uh, Erie does not. Moon. Boston and Maine does. NYC does not. PRR does. Canpack does. NYNH does. Okay. Here we go. Man. When did PRR just become good? Uh, like two sets ago. Where were you? <laughs> <laughs> Doing nothing of value. Um, We'll just lay this uh, and run my bullshit. Pays out, moves over, is done. Next up is the Boston and Maine. Is Billy back? I'm gonna take that as a note. It uh, doesn't seem like it. I love 1830. We should play it more. That's what I've been saying. I've never said no to it. Oh, yeah, that's a good question. Uh, from Marcos. All right, did yeah. anything weird happen? Nothing nope, weird but happened, uh... but it is your go for all Boston right. and Maine. Oh, all right, cool. Um, I mean, literally, I don't really care about anything else. Um, no one's bought any six trains yet. Now that's happened. Um, all right, I'm just gonna not upgrade anything, run it, and pay out. Start of a company's first operation. That's when it chooses. That's what I thought. I just couldn't next. remember for sure. B and O is next. Yes, B okay. and O. B and O is going to. Oh God, dang it! How did you turn it on since you turned it off? 
What do you mean? What? Did you fixed your rotation earlier. I know, and then I unfixed it for the stock round. Oh, for share cards? Yeah. Got it. Uh, so... Run does not change for being... Oh, wait. What run was BNO running before? It had more trains. Don't Got worry about it. it. Yeah, BNO had a 3 and a 4 and was double running the B and this 40. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. It's going to pay out. And uh, does it buy anything? Um, mm. Oh shit! How did it get up to eighty-eight dollars? Oh, there's a sing. There's a single in the bank pool. Oh my god. Yep. <sighs> Should probably um, save your cash for this. <laughs> yeah, I think it's not gonna do any. Oh, oh interesting. This yeah, is no, no, no. this is what I wanted it to be. Yeah, that's the dream. That's probably that, that is the dream. Uh, actually, instead of doing this, I'm uh, I'm scared. You wouldn't have had the money before running. That's true. You're right. There we go. That makes my life easier. Um, yeah, we're good. I'm not doing anything. Okay, so NYNH. Same thing. It is not, however, going to pay out. It's going to take the money. Okay. Good plan. NYC. Oh, wow. Are we already up there, NYC? Cool. All right. It's NYC time. NYC will not run, will not lay track. Yep. We'll fall back here. And then it will buy a four train from C and O for a thousand dollars. Kind of tempted. Uh, yeah, for nine hundred ninety nine dollars. I was going to say you should leave a buck. Oh, always, always. Except for that one time where you need that that dollar. It happens. Hilariously, that means I have a thousand dollars in CNO. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh can pack time. Um yeah. Uh no. Yes. No. I mean, I mean yes, I'm telling you it's time to do can pack. Wait, oh god damn it, I forgot it would rise. I messed up. <sighs> oh my gosh, I should have bought the three train over if I was thinking about it, but I thought that Erie would go first. Oh, I'm mad at myself now. Oh, well, whatever. <sighs> yeah, I just accept my fate. Okay, um, cam pack. Gonna lay that one. And then... This run still doesn't change. It's a, it's a very consistent, uh, company. It's a plane. And we will pay out. And um, that's it for camp pack. Okay, Erie. Put that there. <sighs> Erie's gonna be depressed. Let's just go up. Um, and then Erie is going to. By the six train. And rest the threes. Yep. Goodbye, threes. 
Goodbye, New York. Goodbye, NYNH. I messed this up so badly. I'm... Uh, so badly. Oh well. Um. Before I did that, can I have bought that three over to here? Absolutely. Of course. Okay. Okay. Uh, C and O. Okay. Uh, C and O is going to spend 80 to lay this. And then 40 to token the O. Then eight hundred. Think... Uh, well, I'm gonna run the four train first. Ah, it's optional. Uh, hmm. It's... I think hitting Atlantic City is actually the best run I have at the moment, which is so annoying. Uh, yep, because I and so I think it'll be sixteen. Pay out, and then yeah, it's gonna spend eight hundred dollars to do the diesel trade in. And the fours are rusted. I'm so mad at myself right now. We are in the end game now. I screwed up a lot in this game, but I played that correctly. Sure. All right. Time to do it all again, starting with PRR. Uh, PRR is going to. Play that. Uh, and then run for 400. And it's done. Next up, B and O. Um, sorry, I'm thinking. It's fine. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Um, so B and O is going to oh i guess i didn't have to spend that i'm right uh Tina's gonna upgrade this one Dang it oh wait no no it's not i guess is it yeah no it will that's um mm, 60 Actually, no, no, sorry. It will not be doing that. It kind of depends on what kind of train you're planning to get as to whether that makes sense or not. No, because going down to the deep south is still more profitable than going that way. Right. So it doesn't really matter too much. Um, question really is whose tokens left? Yeah, I'm gonna... Oh, shit. I have to buy the 6 train. You have to buy the 6 train. Okay. Ah! Okay, uh, well, given that... Why is this dit here? Dit is the worst dit! <laughs> um... Dit is the dit. You can just upgrade this into the Y. Yeah, I think that makes the most sense. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, and then... 
you know, I want to put out this now. I just don't know where I want it. Um, now I do know where I want it. I want it right here. All right. And with that, uh, I will spend some money. So how much personal money do I need to spend? Seven. Three. Uh, I need to spend two seventy three of personal money. Um, nope. And that six train goes to B and O, and B and O falls back for not running. Okay, Boston and Maine. I'm doing math in my head. Hold on. Ooh, that's a clever way of doing it, Neos Marcos. I should do that from now on. All right, well, my Boston and Maine one's pretty simple. It's just going to pay out this, so. And not lay any track. Yeah. Boston and Maine is easy. All right, so now that's my other one, <laughs> which is a lot harder. All right, so. I want to make sure. I can build a station. Hey, uh, just checking. You're running 360 with the 5 train? Nope. That should be wrong. Sorry. It should be 230. I did my math. Sorry. 80. 160, 70, 80. 210. Sorry. You're good. Uh, no, no, no. That's... You just moved the PRR, not the bus and oh, main. sorry. It's okay. Then I guess so. I, so I got negative one fifty. What? Uh, you can just type a negative in front of the. I did. Someone else do it. Sure. Clearly, I'm too stupid to do it. <laughs> Does this game doesn't have entanglement? <laughs> I don't think anybody says that, Alan. <laughs> I think right. Drew. No, Drew. Drew used to complain about that. Uh, yeah, right, he's. So I want to make sure he thinks the game is decided by whoever gets two fives. I want to make sure, so I can place a station anywhere there's an open circle, right? As long as you can reach so it. As long as you can reach it. Jinx, you owe me a coke. What do you mean reach it? Following connectivity and stuff. So NY and H is currently trapped into here, here, and here it can't go past any of those three spots so the only place okay it can... so i have to have already i have to have been able to connect it okay yeah that's fine then there's Fair not really right. anything i can do if i can tempt you a good use for your money is to lay here so that we can force alan to buy a train with nyc Yeah, but I gotta buy a diesel train, and it's yeah. only gonna cost me money. So yeah, I figured it wasn't gonna happen. I mean but... this in the nicest way possible, Garrick. But fuck you. Yep. <laughs> I will continue to work oh. on it from the other direction. All right, so six ninety five. So I need another four hundred and five dollars from my own money. And money. And money. Buy a diesel train here. 
And then I do go back one for not being able to run. There is another thing you could do, which is to buy over the five from Boston and Maine for all the money that's in NY and H. Uh, it would cause Boston and Maine to not run, but you would then spend less personal money on the diesel. That's fine. I don't really care that much. Okay. Uh, so is it on to can pack then? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Campac's gonna upgrade the city. So exciting. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Campac is, uh, fails to run, it will fall back one. And it is going to purchase over the six train from Erie. For all but one dollar. Okay, and then C and O. Alan? Alan oh, did we lose Alan? Sleep, did he? Uh, he probably went no, to say that's... goodnight to his wife. That's normally what I do. That's my job. <laughs> what, fall asleep? Yes. I'm, I'm, fall asleep. I'm almost there. We are pretty close to being able to just math this out. Uh... All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. No worries. It is your turn. Hey, look at that. Um, hey, cool. I haven't been tokened out yet. That's coming soon. Um, hmm. What's better? So I can add, a, add 60 to the run now or start prepping for later. I feel like it is still better to add the 60. All right, so let's see, that's going to be 7, 12, 16, 22, 23, 26, 33. Yeah, diesel runs never feel like they're as good as they should be. I think our token game is too aggressive for that. Mm hmm. Because there's the potential for them to be amazing. It's just we're like we're not hyper aggressive, but we're aggressive enough. And moving over. All right, NYC. Uh, does nothing. Yep. Uh, Erie. Nice. No. Because I hate all of you. Mm -hmm. I mean, that mostly uh, just affects me, but thanks. It affects PRR, too. Yeah, it makes my second run a little bit worse. Mm. Yeah. It doesn't it, affect my it, one run. It kind of blocks you in at least on one spot. That was really the only goal I had. I'm going to do that, too, for the fun of it. I don't expect to keep that for long. Uh, and then I will do what... Yes, Marcus uh, suggested, which was just give myself that money and then spend the money for the train so I don't have to think. Not that that one was particularly difficult to understand, but I am lazy. You know, I'm sad. I was going to see if you wanted to work together on this ooh loop, loop -a loop -a -da thing. Oh, well. I'm sorry, I just... Nah, that's cool. You token the spot that I didn't want you to token, so therefore this was the best solution in my brain. You didn't say not to token it. 
Well, I didn't talking. notice you. I didn't notice you doing it. If I'm being honest, <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. All right, Erie fell back, right? Yeah, yeah, Erie falls back. All right, and then we do it one more time, starting with PRR. Uh, PRR is going to lay this, and PRR is going to run. Uh, let me recalculate it. Uh, oh, that can't be right. Five. I wonder if I... Yeah, I definitely screwed myself out of some money because I forgot to upgrade my route as things were upgraded. Whoopsie. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, it's 4.30. Yeah, I should have been running for even more than that for a little bit. Oh well. Uh, paying out. Moving over. Boston and Maine. Um, okay. Do, 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 do. Still the best thing they can do is... One, two, three, four, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's still the best thing they can do, so... They will continue to pay out. Oh. Mm. What? Can I tempt you there to use go. that company money on laying this track? <laughs> Force Alan to buy another train. <laughs> That's the plan. That's what I'm working towards. It's fair. That is fair. I don't get the company money at the end, right? Nope. nope. Company money is there worthless. You there you go. What's that? 120? Yeah. If you really want to do it this turn, you should do a gentle like this. Because then N, Y, and C can play it. Oh. Ah, that's true. It's a good point. Yeah. Plus a B. All right. Uh, on to B and O. All right. Uh, I don't think I can upgrade anything on B and O's route, so it's just going to run for 220. You can... I just realized I'm muted. Nobody, so nobody cares that I'm not even slightly in the running for this game? No, of pointing, course not. Just pointing it out. We must always do the most harm, isn't, isn't that the motto? <laughs> of course. Lily, you I can see. lay this with Bando. I can lay what with Bino? This. No, I can't. Yeah, you can. How? But the same way I'm laying oh, over there. Oh, you're right. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. But I don't want to help him, because I mean, like, someone's going to, I guess it's fine. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, I'll put it there. Okay, next up is C and O. Okay. Hmm. Sorry, I'm like looking to see if there's any track lays that make sense. It's fine. I'm officially of the opinion that briefcasing in 1830 is difficult. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, again, I feel like you're going out of your way for something that doesn't really change the game outcome in any way, but that's fine. Um, oh. 
And I feel like there's a lot of track lays that over the course of like 20 turns might increase my run. That's the year. Can packs going to run. Marcos, the keyword there is dumped. I briefcased CNO and then dumped it before it became a liability. I think it would have become a liability uh, if I had successfully briefcased it for any longer. Just look at all this track that's being laid. It's not hard to just drop a couple. I'm sorry, I'm not intending to stall out here. I'm just uncertain. You're fine. I think, though, I think this is the best that I've got for the moment. Okay, and the run is going to be 10, 11, 15, 16, uh, plus 12 is 28. Yeah, so by running north and uh, double hitting the ooh, I can get 28. Pan out. Paying out. Alrighty. I suppose there's an argument for withholding, but nah. NYNH. Maximum spite. Oh no, <laughs> there's more to it than just that. So that didn't cost me anything. So it is 80, 90. 170, 80, 210, 220, 280. Yeah, this is actually legitimately good for you in the long run. NYNH is done on to can pack. Can pack runs for 220. Uh, I don't think there's anything. Oh, wait. This is exciting. Yeah, you can grab up that last brown city. I was like, I don't know if there's anything exciting to do, but I found something. It's quite exciting. <laughs> it's not that exciting. Uh, um, it only runs for 220. And I will pay out. Okay. NYC. All right. Welcome to the game. Um, I think might as well do this. Not the K. Managed to brief case it for all of like three turns. <laughs> turns out didn't matter. Um, yeah, I actually would have been better off just buying a six train and a diesel. Although I do have a lot more money now than I did before, so. Yeah, there's something to be said for getting to sit on those shares and having them pay out for a while. Mm -hmm. So I, first off, I'm not able to run. I have to move back. That actually hurts. Hmm, what's the best? Unfortunately, 
Well, hang on. I have... Oh, this is unfortunate. Okay. Is there a way? No. I can drop it one, but I can't drop it two because there's already too many shares in the bank pool. So I just have to leave it. It's really annoying. Well, I have a PRR and a BNO, as well as a bunch of CNO. I think. Oh man, BNO is not paying out all that well right now. PRR is that forty three cents you got tokened out of here? Yep. Ah damn. One, it's because he's two, got a train three, running four, internally five. and then a train running externally. Yep. Mm -hmm. No, I I understand the mechanics of it. I'm just <laughs> I wish I could have tokened out here too, but I do not have that much money anymore. So if I I have choices. I can sell the BNO and the PRR, or I can sell the BNO and two of the CNOs. And that'll make it up. Kind of feel like that's the better thing to do. Okay, so I will add in 69 and 90. If it makes you feel better, Alan, that was my motivation for doing it. I wanted more shares to be available for me to purchase. Rude. <laughs> Why would that make me feel better? So, you know, it wasn't just like beating you when you were behind, like, I actually had a, a reason for it. I don't care that you had a reason. <laughs> <laughs> I get it, it's still rude as fuck. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'm done. Okay, Erie. <laughs> no, Marcos. It's more like, let me explain why I'm kicking you. <laughs> Not. <laughs> uh, Erie's going to just run for uh, 390. Sounds about right. You see, I'm kicking you because. <laughs> <laughs> and we will be paying out. I already moved you. I already moved you. Okay, okay. I realized that as I picked it up, I was like, what's going on? Something's wrong here. <laughs> All right. Back to a stock round. PD is on Alan. I'm really annoyed that I couldn't drop NYC into Brown. I wanted to. I really did. Um, gosh, Erie's running almost as good as PRR right now. It is dirt cheap. Before anything else, is everyone's hand limit correct? 
Or is that going to not come up until it's Lily's turn? Uh, it comes up when it comes to their turn. Okay. Yeah. I think I want... Hang on, let me... I think I will just buy an Eerie for 50. I will also buy an Eerie. I will also buy an Eerie. Oh, wait. Hang on. Hang it on. <laughs> Never mind. I have $34. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do you want to sell anything? Uh... No, you guys suck. <laughs> okay, I'm sticking with the Eerie. <laughs> I will pass. I'm also sticking with the Eerie. Uh, uh, I'm over limit. I will sell these two C packs to become back into limit. All right, you buying anything? Yeah, I'm going to buy an Eerie. Can pack out a six. Okay. Alan, you on permapass until something happens? Yeah, I mean, I can't really do anything, so. Yeah, I just want to make sure. Um. Gareth, if it assuages your guilt at all, I'm pretty sure Lily would have done it if you didn't. I feel no guilt about anything ever, so yeah. Just put it on me. That's fine. Mm. Is it worth it? Yellow. Uh, yeah, I'll buy an Eerie from the IPO. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yep, yep, wow, yep. Wow, really? Uh, it is going to make uh, 39 for three runs, which is 117, which means one share already makes up the difference. I will also buy it for a hundred. Yep. I'm gonna buy an NYC. Still passing. Uh, I'm sorry, Alan. <laughs> um, no, it's fine. I'm. I'm a little sad just because I can't do anything, but yeah, it was a good play. <laughs> um, like I, I figured I would get opened up at some point. I just didn't think it would be before the stock round. Yeah. Also figured you guys didn't have any particular reason to come after me, so my mistake. 
if Here, it makes you feel it's better, you. Alan, I, I needed it for a different reason. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm... he's opening up his diesel run. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not nearly as sour as I sound. If that makes any damn sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair. Fair. I feel like I've heard you actually be sour, and you're not sour. Yeah, I'm. I'm trying to evaluate which of the companies is best to buy right now. Um. I mean, I realize it didn't have a train before, but I kind of feel like the NYC diesel run is going to be decent. And it doesn't count towards your cert limit. So the issue is, I'm pretty sure Lily's going to drop an Eerie token right on Rochester and block both NYC and NYNH in. Which means no. I want NYC shares, but not over other stuff. I guess that makes sense. And that's why I was willing to buy an Erie share from the IPO in addition. Um, let me guess, private funding can't be used to buy a station, can it? Nope. Nope. No. I'm pretty sure this is the most certificates I've seen in a single player's hand. It's pretty insane. It is pretty insane. I think I buy a can pack. Oh no, CNO's. I think you take over can pack with that. Oh uh, no, and CNO's running for better, isn't it? Um, CNO's. Uh, it's probably still going to run for better. Yeah, I go for the CNO. Which is 68. Billy, are you just buying what I'm buying? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh all right now i will buy i think the can pack is better than the nyc so i'll buy the can pack take the president share for 60 yours. sounds good president share is a lot less valuable when it doesn't count towards certain limit <laughs> oh i took I was gonna say, where, where did you? What did you take? Where's the president shirt? I don't have it. Yes, you do. Oh, there it is. It's you, right there. I see. You threw it on the right. I just threw it into your hand. <laughs> Lily, it's you. Oh, is it me? All right, I'll buy an NYC. Uh, one of these days, I gotta count how many cards are in my hand. Well, I think you're fine since 16 is the limit and you have a lot of cam pack. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. I just, I should probably check one day. You're up, Billy. I'm going to buy this for par. I will also buy it for par. 10. All right, I will buy a B and O. I'm buying the last B and L. How much are they worth? E. We sold everything. Yeah. Okay. Oh shit. I ended up wow. with peanut. Eighteen. That's not terrible. All right. This is twenty nine. You you have thirteen certificates that don't count towards your cert limit. Seriously. Yeah. Red, red, yellow, and black do not count towards cert limit. And now that's they... 12. Nope, that's 13. Yep. Dear God. All right, let's do this three times, starting with PRR. Uh, I don't think PRR has any... Tra oh, I've got CanPAC now. Do I, what do I care about for CanPAC? Anything? Um... PRR will go ahead and lay this. Because a canyon. Uh, yeah, then PRR is going to run for its uh, usual bullshit. PRR is done. Boston and Maine. Am 
I upgrade that. Then it's gonna do its run, which is still twenty one. Right. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. All right, and then I moved you over. Uh, B and O. Yep. B and O just pays out. Uh, C and O. Uh, Dino's gonna lay this guy here for eighty. Nice. Uh, and then it's not going to run that one at all. <laughs> Thanks for laying this guy here there. That actually helps me quite a bit. You're welcome. Uh, let's see here. So 90, 12, 15, 17, 22, 23, 27... Thirty-one, thirty-two, forty. Man out. All right, I moved you over. Thank you. N Y N H. Time to draw things. 80, 90, 130, 170, 180, 230, 250, 280, 310, 320, 400. Yeah, it's the same run I just did. Did you move me over? Uh, I have not moved you over yet. You're done? Neos Marcus is on why I can do better. Uh, by going okay, south. so I'm gonna do that because I really don't want Neo Marcus telling me how to play the game. Uh, if someone points out a better run, you have to take it. Oh, do I? It is yeah. technically true. I... All right, 80. <laughs> Sorry, I'm clear. just I don't like it when people tell me how to play games. No, it's fine. It's just, I mean, they just want you to have the best run possible because it gives you the most 90. money. What was the run? I went up and around. I would, I'm not though. sure where going south is possible. I would think the best run would be something like coming here, looping through here, and then hitting it from the top. That's what I did. Yeah, that's Billy and I both did that same run. Hmm. 80, 90, 130. I don't know how going south does anything better for me. 80, 90. Or maybe. Oh, I see what he's saying. Uh, like, instead of doing this way way and then come yeah. back down? Uh, yeah. Just I see, instead, I, I see of, this, instead got, of trying to hit that 40, you can. I go here instead. 80, yeah. 90. I got 420 when I mapped it. That's fine. I'll do two extra then. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. Unfortunately, NYC. Uh, I don't think NYC can do that run because this is tokened. Yep. Okay. Uh, can pack is up. Uh, I think can pack's best is 280, which is running here. Cool. Oh, I was running poorly this whole time. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, I did just open this up. Don't forget. Oh, you're right. That's true. Uh, paid out. Moving over. I don't think it has a track lay I care about. Uh, I was I was thinking about that, and I don't see anything. So I think we can move on. Uh, Eerie. All right, now I do the thing that makes everyone hate me. Yep. Boop. And then I still run for the same. Actually, you know what? If no one cares, I just want to drop that for can pack. Oh, you're fine. That's fine. Makes sense. Not only do I not care, I appreciate it. Yeah, I, yeah. I figured you that want, might you be. You want to go go around that <laughs> that uh, issue I just made? Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, did I pay out? Yep. Then we're good. I right, moved you over. Uh, NYC. All right. Uh, this one. gonna have to keep doing the math there's no such thing as just pressing payout in this game uh thankfully i uh, think we are gonna break it looks like yeah it's, yeah i think if the token shenanigans are about to slow down oh what's better It's hard to see a world where. Hang on. What are you running a diesel? Oh, that that doesn't exist. The tile I want. That's always the problem. Oh wait, no, it does. Hmm. Anyways. So 28 if I go that way, or... I have 310 for you. Uh, Going over to the B, I'm guessing? Nope, coming up to Erie. Oh, right. Yeah, that, that does make sense, doesn't it? Yeah, you're just adding 20 on top of the B, basically, because you're hitting 60 and then 20. Okay. Is this for NYC's first run? Look at that. <laughs> it's it's doing things. I mean Hey. Hey. Alright. Hey. Speaking of doing things, let's do it again. Uh PRR yeah. pays out. Uh yeah, it's right, didn't change. Pays out, moves over. Boston and Maine. It pays out, it doesn't do anything different, I don't think. B and O. I don't think anything's different. Hey, that moves over. Uh, NYNH. There is a way to get around Rochester, you know. <laughs> All right. I have to math this out now. <laughs> 90, 170, 180, 210, 240. Wait a minute. No, no. Wait, am I? No, I'm not. Hold on. No. Yep, I'm fine. Three ten. I get three eighty going up and around, coming back down here, and then coming back up. 80, 90, 170, 180, 210, 240, 280, 320, 370, 380, 400. I believe it.
Uh, C and O. Right. Um, C and O's gonna lay. Oh, there's the track on. Oh, look at that. What are you looking for? Sadly, the one I just laid elsewhere. I need the mirror version mm. of this one. Gotcha. Um, oh, well. I think maybe I just have to give up on that dream. Were you trying to go around you could Rochester? That. Yeah, that was... It was definitely doable. Yeah, do that, way. do the crossing, then do the the one that you're missing now. I got you. You could always upgrade that tile to get to get it back. It's it's likely it's too long. It's likely better for me to just work on uh, this end of things. That makes sense. At least as far as CNO is concerned, I can't really. That's likely not true for. Uh... NYC. Uh, I mean, that said, I think all I do is curve into Chicago, I think. Because I don't have any cash, going up to Lansing doesn't do anything. Yeah. And it doesn't matter, because Lily's going to win anyway. I mean... Nothing I do matters. Yeah. That's been true for quite some time. Yeah, this is all fair. Is this legal? Nope. You need nope. the K. There you go. K. <laughs> uh, she had it anyway, Marcos. I didn't have enough of a lead. And there was no way the bank was right, so breaking when I needed 10, it to. 13, 14, uh, 18, 22, 25, uh, 20, 29, plus 80 is 37. Guess that's acceptable. And if I hadn't spent the entire game faffing about, these would be great end game runs. <laughs> Fucking Firefly just attacked me. Uh, get out of here. Uh, okay. Uh, is it can pack? I think it's can pack. Can pack got a six. Yeah, no. Six, that might be. Five. It's a four, six. Uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, no. Uh, this was pointless. I shouldn't have done it. Anyway. Pay out. Came back done. Well, it worked for me. Thank yeah, you. it worked for other people, which means it was bad for me. <laughs> Here he's paying out. Uh, NYC. Uh, what you got, Alan? Uh... I'm just going to do this. Doesn't matter. It'll never come to fruition, but I'll do the thing anyways. Maybe somebody else will decide to work on it with me. All right. And then I the run, run doesn't change at all, so let's just pay out. I moved you over. Mm -hmm. uh, last time. Oops. PRR pays out. Boston and Maine. Pays out. 
B&O. Pays out. NYNH. Pays out. CNO. Uh, yeah, this is why we don't play it every week. Oh yeah, this one. This one. Yeah. Payo. Uh, do can pack pays out. Erie. Pays out. The NYC. Really broke. Oh god, that was terrifying. I thought it wasn't gonna break for a second. No, I knew it was gonna break unless anybody did yeah. weirdness. Yeah, but it's only by two hundred dollars. That's not that much. Uh, <sighs> all right. That is the game. Uh, everyone, pay out ten times your company's share value. Did somebody hit pay privates? I hit pay I hit pay privates. That's my bad. And sixty-seven. Here are ours paid out. Can pack is nope. Can pack is paid out. Okay. All right. Looks like everything is paid out, so we have our final scores. And unsurprisingly, Lily smashes due to her 29 shares. Is that the highest score we've ever had? I think so. I think by a not insignificant amount, too. By like a thousand or so. Yeah. Oof. Uh, good showing, Billy, for your first time. Like, for real, though. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good score. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Eighteen thirty. Always a good time. You know, it, it's interesting because I always I always forget that it's like mid game and onward that eighteen thirty gets weird. It's like the early game feels so prescriptive, but eventually it just turns into a madhouse. I feel like SR3 is when all hell breaks loose. Like that, I feel like that was our first super long SR, and then everything just goes off the rails from there, depending on what happens in that SR. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I won't keep you all here all night, although I had a good time, so thank you. Uh, <laughs> thank you everyone for watching that was 1830 we will of course play it again one day because it is the best uh, just maybe not every Tuesday because sleep is a thing uh, we did not not rush trains Marcos it was it was a moderate pace I think uh, yes crew Joko should be tomorrow uh, Vast on Thursday uh, I think Pendragon is the current idea for Saturday. Don't know yet. Uh, yeah, that's that's the current plan. We'll see how it pans out. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great night. and We will catch you next time.